a story right now. Tell me a story. Okay, so you all are part of an adventuring group, original, and uh, you received notice from uh, someone in the town of Doyle, someone, uh, the commander of the town militia, requesting for help. Uh, they have lately been uh, laid siege by a group of bandits led by someone known as the Black Viper. And they were offering a 5,000 gold reward to the erasure, capture, wanted dead or alive of these bandits. Uh, so after a month's travel south along the Portage Road, you guys find yourself at the town of Doyle where you meet up with your liaison who looks something like this. Roaring star. Anyway, I'll describe him to you. Uh, he is a grizzled human with a grade goatee and hair uh, in full plate. Uh, his name is Cyrus, and he is your uh, point of contact. So as you all show up, you are welcome into the guard tower uh, just north of town. And Cyrus calls you into his office, and he says, uh, thank you for uh, taking the call, my friends. Uh, we have a bit of a situation here, and I'm afraid if we don't do something, the town is going to be in great peril. Uh, would you all be willing to introduce yourselves? Uh, yeah, someone go first. Not Ooh. me. Well, uh, nice to meet you. My name is Flint Ignatius. I am, well, as you can see by my attire, I'm a big fan of the elves and elvish culture. Uh, they took me in when I was young, and, well, I learned how to use the blade. I practice red dagger style, as we call it. Uh, as you can tell by my scimitars and six daggers I have uh, completely strewn about me. Uh, and my spellbook, of course. Nobody looks at my spellbook except me. Uh, but yes, these are my comrades. We are very professional. And we will ensure the job is done. So why are you the group to get this? Why should you be paid 5,000 gold pieces? Well, if we survive, that'll be telling, won't it be? <laughs> true, true, true. Why? Sir, you why have never met a more extravagant I, sorry, group of heroes. We care. all just started talking. Could we actually turn that music <laughs> down a little bit? I am having such a hard time. Oh, you can, um, you can, you can turn it down. Oh, I can? Yeah, manually. Oh. Yeah. It's the music oh. note. Music note button, top right. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, we are in a... Let's do a more... Uh, <laughs> let's do something a little less cinematic. Yeah, this? I thought we were introducing ourselves. Yeah. So I, like, monologued. How's that? You introduced the group. I want to hear what Glenn has to say. <laughs> yeah. I'm still learning everybody's names. I don't know who's who yet. So. Dylan's Glenn. Who is who? Well, this would be a great opportunity for us all to get to know each other. Thanks, Cyrus. That's not weird. <laughs> well, uh, what I can tell you is um, our trade route has been cut. Uh, just south of town, uh, the mine that this place was built on was raided and taken from us six months ago. And we haven't allowed any citizens to travel the road. We've cut it off completely. It's too dangerous. People were getting robbed, sacked, killed. And we need that village back. We need the mine back. If we don't get these resources, we aren't going to be able to make it past winter. So we need you to do everything you can to find them. Uh, we've we've sent a dispatch of guard, but they won't travel further south than the great white tree along the trail. If you could go further than that, investigate, see what you can find, and eliminate them, bring them back, whatever you can. You see, uh, really, like a, a a large bugbear. I mean, you all like like you said, we all know each other, but for for the NPC, I guess for for the, the guy <laughs> trying to give us this quest. Uh, he's a uh, very large, like seven seven foot four. Um, he's very broad, but he's got a, a cloak around his shoulders. Um, he actually seems to have the shaved face, like he's got his the long bugbear here 
uh, beard on his chin. Um, and he's kind of got his look. You can't really see how he's got his arms, but you know, as he reaches out, he kind of pulls his cloak to the side. You see, he's wearing nothing but a loincloth. Like it's just just the robe and the loincloth. We uh, we will do this. You will pay us, or you will die. Understood. What my friend means to say here <laughs> is that you do not need to worry. We are the world's greatest adventuring party, and we will definitely restore your town to its former glory. For I, Glendon Von Alabaster, the master of illusion, am here with this great noble band of adventurers, and we will save you all. If uh, he's in need of some spare clothes, I could probably drum up a tabard or, or a robe or something. <laughs> We've no, no. asked him many times. He preferred it this way. I spit on the floor. Mm. Okay, then. Um, well, <laughs> um, you know, the uh, contract stands for the next two days. If you can accomplish this goal by then, the gold is yours, and we will be forever in your debt. What is it that you all call yourselves? The Band of Adventurers. <laughs> the Band of Adventurers. He takes a note with a quill and paper. All Do right. we need to bring anything back with us as proof? Preferably the Black Viper's head. Or you can bring her in manacles. What's no preference she? of mine. Mm -hmm. but, but what happened to the White Viper? Never heard of her. But if there's a black viper, there has to be a white viper. Well, if within your investigations you could find something about a white viper, I would pay for that information as well. Mm. Perfect. We don't want any vipers up in here. The black one was bad enough. Uh, well, if there's anything else you guys might need, uh, we do have uh, town militia tabards if you'd like. You could don yourselves... Let the people know you're working in the city. Hmm. But it is a good idea to uh, tell the people that we are here and we are serving them, correct? Sure. So he gets up out of his chair, walks around his desk, goes to a large trunk and opens it and presents each of you with a colored tabard uh, with the symbol of Joaquin, <laughs> the uh, goddess of trade. Ooh. It's a town, town, town insignia. Nice. Uh, I want to try attempting to pull it on as a dragonborn, and just like I imagine my scales and stuff, just tear it to shreds, and it's just left as a shredded mess, un like un can't discern what's uh, what's there anymore. <laughs> well, as long as they can see the colors, I'm sure they'll get the point. So this uh, this will allow you passage south along the trail. Uh, we have guards posted there, twenty four hours a day. Things have been creeping that we can't allow into the town. We don't let anything in or out. But this will allow you passage. And so you say the Great White Tree. That is where uh, the perimeter is. So going past that is where danger happens. Uh, we've investigated up to that point. Not really near it. Um, we try not to get too far beyond there because that's when things start to get a little more dangerous. But at this point, we can't even go that far. So we just stay posted at the trailhead. Okay, well, before we go, uh, any last tips? Like, say we should be on the lookout for this great white tree. Like, maybe there's, like, ghosts. Uh, nothing we can't handle, of course. Um, I would say stick to the road if you have to. Um, I would say do your best to investigate. If there are things that you see, I would say inquire about them. I don't know if I'm the DM or the character at this point. <laughs> oh, no. uh, as, as the DM, though, I will say this. I, I made the majority of these maps for this. So if there's something that you see, um, you can ask about it. You can touch, you can interact with everything. Uh, there is You say of, right? you made the map. What I made the map. Mean? I made the map. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the line of sight is a thing. So if you're walking around the map, you might find things you might not have seen otherwise. 
Um, yeah, so I'll just I'll say that it, investigating and being curious might get you some shit. Ooh. Great! Oh, nice. Now, get out of my office, and he ushers <laughs> you all out onto the street outside of the watchtower here. Um, so you are free to uh, do what you'd like here. You could head straight there. It's about nine a.m. Uh, oh, and he did mention um, the full distance of the trail is eight hours. Mm. So to get from the town of Doyle to the old um, uh, work village is eight hours travel. Right. And just for our sake, so mm -hmm. that we know who's who, should we like, I know Elliot and Davey kind of already introduced their characters, but should we just go over? give ourselves an introduction of what our who our characters are so we know absolutely okay well since i guess i started that off i'll go ahead and i am heinel brackengard i am a blue dragonborn um about six feet tall covered in scars an exile from his family or clan as you say from his people Play, goes around as a mercenary group, and I guess it's been tagged along with you guys for a while. Ooh. Oh no! Oh, this is very soft. Great. <clears throat> um, anybody else? It's a beautiful sunny day outside. Ooh. And uh, I'm Grand Esteem. I've been <laughs> I was orphaned as a child and grew up on the streets. I became <laughs> a street tough and have street smarts and stuff mm. like that. Now I'm going with this band of adventurers because I need some meat shields to get between me and the enemy. <laughs> I'm very capable at what I do, and that's all you need to know. Although I did give you a little too much information. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you need to know, but that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Redact that. Yeah. You better forget, forget everything, everything I just told you. <laughs> yeah. So the, uh, the town before you, it... Um... It's fairly quiet. It has a very somber atmosphere, but it's not dirty. It's not run down. It's a fairly well-kept city, but the general demeanor and feeling of the place is downtrodden. Uh, so these people have been hit pretty hard the last six months, and they're doing everything they can to try and make things work. There was even an offshoot of some adventurers uh, that created a new lumber mill uh, called Gale House in an attempt to just create a new source of income for the town. Um, but yeah, there's, you know, there's a church, there's an inn, there's an open market, there's everything you could possibly need or want. Um, and then, yeah, to, uh, set heading like southeast, that is the trailhead to the, uh, tribe, the uh, hollow trail, they call it. Mm. Um, I guess... I guess I'll. Uh, I guess before heading out, we should probably stock up on supplies. I'm gonna go buy some potions or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, we won't we won't role play anything, but we'll just call, do a last call for items. If you guys would like to go visit any specific shops or anything. Um, yeah, I actually don't need what anything do you from have? a shop, but I just need to add some items from like for my starting equipment. Um, I didn't ever decide on that. I kind yeah, of just sure. did. Yeah. Uh, so for your reference, Davey, if you do control space, you can pick anything from the SRD and you drag and drop it into your inventory. Sweet. I have 140 gold. I'd like to spend on potions, like buy potions or something if I can. Yeah. <laughs> what potion are you looking for? A healing potion. Sweet. That is 50 gold pieces, my friend. I shall buy one. All right, let's give you uh, also my first time DMing in Foundry, so we will learn together. Is it just a potion of greater healing, or is it just a potion um, of healing? Regular potion of healing is 50. Okay. Yep. And you can also control space it uh, to search it yeah. and drag and drop it. I, I didn't see the potion of regular healing at first. It, I only saw like the better one. So was... Oh, it's potion of healing is the, the basic. Yeah. It's just yeah, potion of healing. I got, I got, yeah. I got, Cool. All right, did you get it in your inventory? I guess, too, if I can spend money, I'll do just buy the chain mail and wear that instead of the uh, scale mail. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a grizzled old dwarf that would love to take your money. 
Mm. And was it 75 gold? Mm -hmm. He Ooh, needs it. Before you do it, um, I was going to ask the same thing. Um, if we traded in the armor we had, would we get some money back or like make it, are they purchased a little cheaper? Uh, if you're selling your armor, it's worth half of the uh, value. Okay. That it would be to buy it. So if your armor is leather, you would receive five gold pieces for it. Okay, and you said it was 40 gold for studded? 45. Okay, so very good. So it'd just be 40 gold for studded leather armor. Yes, yeah. yeah. Very exactly. good. That's what I'll do. Amazing, amazing. I would definitely try to overhear things about this great white tree. Maybe uh, yeah, people. if you want to ask about it, um, let's say you walk up to a, a, an older uh, human woman. She says, oh, that tree, they they call it the ghost oak. Uh, there was a tale that a horse, runaway horse in the middle of the night, actually took its own head off. The branches are so thick. From The tree took its head off. Yeah, the horse took off in the middle of the night, didn't see the tree, and took its own head. Holy. Well. Uh, well, some people say that's just legend. Who knows? <laughs> Do you believe it? Do you believe it, young man? Uh, I think, you know, it's more fun to believe. So, yeah, I guess if there's a ghost of a headless horse running around in the woods, that's more fun than if it wasn't. No, yes, this is correct. I, I agree with this, yes. <laughs> What's so with all the points? What? <laughs> points? You got all, the, <laughs> all your points. You got po a bandolier oh. full of points. My, oh, you mean all my, my pointy points? Yeah. Mm. Yes, uh, well, as you can see, I am part demon. I uh, I will haunt you in your dreams. Goodbye, young man. I will, with a flourish, leave. Weird folk. Mm. <laughs> oh, what are you... <laughs> I'm a tiefling. Was it? Are you oh. a tiefling? Yep. Yeah. Bright red. Uh, anybody else shopping? Ooh, um, I did get a potion of healing, and oh, really? I and then instead leather the armor, and I'm good to go. Awesome. Yeah. And you guys, yeah, you can you can spend you can just drag and drop whatever you need and deduct your own gold. I trust. I need nothing. <laughs> I'd Great, like to see right? if there's any uh, trending jewelry, and I would I would want to buy similar jewelry. Like if they're all into gold chains here, that I would jump on that real quick. Uh, you <laughs> could go f try to find a jeweler. Um, unfortunately, because of the state of the town, things like that aren't as available as they used to be. Now it's more like um, um, trade goods, like like raw materials, food livestock lumber they've they've had to kind of revert to things because they've lost access to this mine uh so not much jewelry unfortunately they're devoid of style and i am distraught <laughs> <laughs> would, would i be able to pick up bat fur a drop of pitch or a piece of coal in this town <laughs> <laughs> coal definitely um those <laughs> other things i'm just no just bat fur. Damn. Didn't we go for this? I don't have a focus. I'm a rogue. Uh. <laughs> if you and I don't have a component, like, I don't think this place would have a components pouch. It's like a place in the middle of nowhere. You, you get it as you part of your starting equipment. Pouch. Yeah, you, you get it. No, it's, it's, it's oh, I get like a focus uh, or a components pouch. Uh, I thought. Oh, you if did. you're an arcane I'm, trickster, I'm, then yeah. You no, no, I'm, 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 I'm just a, I'm He's, just a thief. Yeah, he's specifically talking about the Tiefling uh, Darkness spell, is oh. if he needs material components. No, no, that's racial. That's racial. Yeah, party. if it's racial, you... you oh, have okay, well, it just says that there. Well, then I'm good to go, boys. I'm awesome, learning every right? day. Yeah, that, that, day. that Darkness spell comes from the blackness of your soul, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... It's actually debatable, because I searched it, because I knew what he was talking about. Uh, apparently, you know, the rules lawyers are all saying you do still need the components. Well, fuck them. You know, casting spell requires the components. Yeah. <laughs> but we get it for free. I can get fucked. About what about the power free. of friendship? Mm -hmm. Well, I like free stuff, so I'm good to go. You know, we have a wizard <laughs> in our party, and you are a thief, so. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to rummage uh, in my pouch? 
I have these things. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't well, steal. I was gonna suggest maybe Grand just steals it from me when I'm not looking. Grand <laughs> Grand would never do that to you. Are we brothers? That. Yeah, well we're the only teethlings on the team, you know? Yeah. Teethlings got teeth. <laughs> yeah. We got, <laughs> we're the teethers. <laughs> Okay, comrades, we must explore this tree. This tree sounds amazing. I am very, uh, as you say, horny for learning something new. What race is uh, uh, Glenn? Half elf. Hello. I lagged. That was, oh shit. Was we're back. I, I like back, back. back. Okay. What race is then? Everybody. Oh, um, half elf. Oh, okay. So you're like kind of normal. <laughs> yeah. <I'm, laughs> am I the normal. most normal person here? Yeah, probably. <laughs> pretty We're much. all pretty edgy though. Awesome. All right. So as you guys go to leave town, you approach uh, some guardsmen who normally would refuse to let anyone pass, but because of the taverns, <clears> they <throat> part and they. Wish you well, they say. Um, so you're the group that's going to save the town, eh? The group is going to get paid. I yes. can't be mad at that. I don't mind a person trying to get some coin. So uh, what's your plan? Why would we tell you? For all we know, you might spread the word. Oh, I ain't going down that trail, even if you're paying me for all that. So go, you're crazy. <laughs> Well, the things I heard coming out of those woods. You out of your mind to go down there. What have you heard come out of these woods? Oh, all kinds of things. People say they've been seeing creatures with horns on their heads. People get We got those. You yes, know, slaughtered down <laughs> at the old mill. Can't even get to the mines. Not to mention just the wild beasties like you find all over the place. Wolves and bears. Things like that. But if you'd like, we really appreciate it. I just think you're crazy. Should be easy enough of a job for us. Who was the last uh, band of guards who made their way past the White Oak? Well, I haven't been past the White Oak. They're too no. scared. Yeah. After all those stories and of the wolves and the bears. No, of worse things. There's a headless horse. Yes. Well, we don't know if it's real or not. What's and it going to do? Nuzzle you? It's just an old, an old legend. Well, I wouldn't be worried about the horse. It's what people say they saw riding it. That's mm -hmm. the scary thing. But Another. since we lost the village, you know, gossip and legend, and you can't even tell what's true anymore. But it's gossip. all pretty damn scary so we don't go down there is the thing riding Sorry, the headless horse off. headless no oh. even worse it's got horns and wings that's what mm -hmm. they say <laughs> what <laughs> uh grand pulls his hood a little bit <laughs> more over his horns than usual <laughs> <laughs> he's so got a town full of stories well, you colorful bunch, go and uh, get killed if you like. Uh, go oh, ahead. Come with us. Me? Yeah, out of your fucking mind. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize uh, there were so many women in this town. Oh, God. Well, you know, we might be more helpful, but we, you know, don't have a town healer anymore. He disappeared about the same time we lost the camp, so I'm thinking he's dead. But with no healer, there's no worth risk. You know what I mean? I can't patch myself up. Mm, fair enough. How long ago? About six months. When did this all start? About six months, yeah. Well, we <laughs> lost the village. <laughs> healer went missing. The White Viper. What's that? Who? The White Viper. The White Viper. The Legend of the White Viper. I haven't heard that one. Oh, we'll okay. spread the word. <laughs> you will. 
Oh, great. More shit. <laughs> they say she used to be a healer in a small town nearby. <laughs> really? That's what I heard. <laughs> Just ask the blue dragon over there. Well, you are quite the colorful bunch. What do you call yourselves? The Band of Adventurers. The Monsters. Wow. The monsters. Wow. <laughs> All it's right. Work in progress. Work in progress. Oh, <laughs> I hope so. Mm -mm. Well, talk to you? on you go. On you go. I got oh, sound fine. watch here. Okay. I Naruto run ahead. <laughs> Looks Ooh. like such a demanding job. Excellent. <laughs> All right, let's do a music change because this shit's creepy. How about Old Town Road? Where, where's the good stuff? <laughs> where's the good stuff? There it is. Chris, what's your character's name? Hynal Brackengard. All right, so you guys make your way down the hollow trail, <laughs> uh, and you know, you have a sense of things might be happening here, but it just looks like forest. The trail is well, well, well traveled. Maybe not recently, but you can tell it's been used for a long time. Uh, to haul things. There's wagon tracks, horse tracks, uh, humanoid prints all up and down. Um, so after about three hours travel, you find yourselves along the trail and you see a 50 foot tall white barked tree with a gigantic limb hanging over the road. What would you like to do? Hmm. Look around first off. Oh, like by the way, perception are you, my ass off. Are you? Do you guys have the no. vision token vision? I do. I mean, like, I see like shadows behind the trees. If okay. that's what you're talking yeah. about. As yeah. I move, yeah, as I move, I can see it. Okay, yeah. So that that's your line of sight. So anything okay. that's not in that, you can't see. Obvious. All right. Uh, all right. I'd like to look at the tree branch I will and see walk if up I believe the, tree. the story. Yeah. <laughs> Great. All right. So we'll get um. Well, it's more specific. What are you? What are you attempting to to see? Make sure that first of all, there's nothing like like that's stocking up in the trees. I should say. Uh, so you hear the chitter of some birds, maybe a squirrel or two, and the mm -hmm. wind in the leaves. Not much else. Ooh. Grand would like to, um, since we're getting close to enemy territory, start being super stealthy. Sure. And Go ahead and make, a, make a stealth roll. I'd like to join him in that. Sure. I would like I'll, to walk up to the tree and kind of like place my hand on it and mm -hmm. kind of see what it is. Ooh, I'm going to hop on um, the tree. My yeah, button's sure. not working. Which button? The stealth button. Really? In your character sheet? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Can you roll other harder. things? I can't roll anything. That's very strange. I can roll for you. Oh, but please do. <laughs> doesn't help you. No. How do I do this? Yeah. Were you able to add stuff to your character? Me? Yeah. Uh, try uh, refreshing because that fixed it when I was adding stuff to D. Uh, okay. So, uh, we'll um, yeah. so as you touch the bark of the tree, uh, it is old. This is an old, 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 old tree. Um, but it just feels like a tree. It worked. Nice. Excellent. I'm with with Glenn. However, I would like to mage hand a dagger and cut off uh, a small branch from the overlook, the one that's overlooking, like a, a twig off of it, and catch it. Uh, yeah, sure, easy enough. Yeah, so it falls to the ground. Um, yeah, it's uh, the it's a twig. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any perceptible like arcane influence, like? Or maybe it's like religious kind of uh, spiritual energy, anything like that? Mm, no, not that you can detect. I throw it and stomp on it. I stomp on it. Crunches under your foot. Um, is, the, is there any like leaves or anything on the tree or is it just like, nope. like kind of dying? No leaves. Looks like it died. Not one. I'll approach mm -hmm. with them. Sure. It's so stealthy, though. Mm -hmm. 
Well, guys, I don't really understand what's so great about this tree, so maybe we should just keep moving forward. I can burn it. Let's, let's head on. I can burn it. Just saying. <laughs> I, I, really get down. I, I just walk under forward and ignore him. But then the story will be lost forever. <laughs> I'll wait we for everyone. We are now braver than the guards. <laughs> All right, we're moving onward. Yeah, moving past the In the tree. back, oh, I'll turn and firebolt the tree as we leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, make an attack roll. <laughs> roll Do we know that you're a pyro? Maybe. <laughs> well, no, over time, we'd get to know if you're a pyro. Would we, would we know this in, uh, in working with you? Uh, as a tiefling, I'm definitely prone to fire. That's my element of choice. All right, so would you guys like to stay on the trail? Or explore outwards. Um, I would be on the edge of the trail, like in the bushes, and as much as I can, trying to be stealthy, like behind trees and stuff. Same. I think I'd stay on the trail. And just I'm staying on the trail. On the trail. Yeah. I want the easy path. Okay. Great. Yeah. All right. So that was three hours travel, and now you're continuing onward. All right, so uh, this would say another three hours uh, for a total of six of the eight hours travel to get to the hollow. Uh, so now you find yourselves on this stretch of road. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, I'm going to continue be stealthy, but I'm going to be, you know, you know, just exploring amongst the bushes and stuff. Yeah, sure. Make an investigation roll. Well, okay. Uh, you notice the uh, bushes uh, have berries on them um, that may be edible, if you'd like. Um, I'll collect them, but not eat them. And okay. I'll wait and see if maybe some of my friends are more knowledgeable. <laughs> All right. Sure. So a handful of berries. I'll add that. Yes. Anyone else? Um, uh, my guy's not much of an investigator type, so he'd probably just walk forward okay. boldly into the unknown. <laughs> what are we uh, what are we looking for again? Bandits. The White Viper. Bandits. <laughs> I'd like to mage hand a dagger and then just run it through a couple of different trees. Bandits. <laughs> sure. <laughs> So one one dagger like kind of gets stuck in the twigs, and as you pull it out, just leaves this big hole in the in the bush. Uh, you scare off a uh, a little rabbit that was hiding out underneath one of them, and it skitters off uh, into the forest. But yeah, no, nothing in these bushes, but bushes. There's bushes inside the bushes. Yeah, bushception, <laughs> matryoshka bushes, bush light. <laughs> There's a George Bush inside the bush. <laughs> yeah. Um, anybody else doing anything? Ooh. Is there anything out of the ordinary? Because now we're past the Great White Oak. So it, less travel, like the road is a lot less used, utilized. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's have everyone make an investigation check, or if you'd like to, I'd say you can. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Oh yeah. <laughs> nope. All right, oh, grand. Mm -hmm. So you're picking uh, these berries off. They're kind of they kind of look like blueberries, but mm -hmm. um. Uh, the tops of them had little tiny, tiny, tiny white flowers on them. Hmm. And as you're looking ahead, you notice there seems to be a part in the foliage. And it looks like somebody may have been traveling up and down a small little footpath that runs deeper off the trail into the woods. Ooh. Well, then I, um, I do like a uh, super sneaky, like... Uh... 
I, I go back to my party, but in like a cool, sneaky rogue way. And then I, uh, I inform them that like there's something over here in the bushes. There's been people traveling and that we should probably investigate this area further. Hmm. Okay. Do we think it's the bandit? <laughs> but the trail goes this way. Shouldn't we follow the trail? But there's another trail that goes this way. Shouldn't we follow the trail? But if we split up. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> How fucking quite, the, quite the trail mix we have. <laughs> oh, well, either way, Grand's going to explore the trail, but be stealthy about it. I will follow, but Please not well. stealthy. In, in <laughs> two, in two, I'm in jail. <laughs> well, I'll, like, I'll, let, I'll right let you behind you. I'm no, I'll, I'll let you lead and I'll <laughs> still be behind you. You're the big okay. strong boy. Oh, I love that image where he's like trying to like out chase him, just catch up in his chainmail. <laughs> clink, clink, clink. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are taking the footpath or the the. Yeah, we're, we're going to explore okay. the footpath. All right, excellent. For sure. So you head uh, deeper into the wood, um, and the trees start to get thicker. This is less traveled, uh, but the trail is easy enough to follow. And um, or have, let's do uh, survival checks. How about we get some survival checks? <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> That's too really nonchalantly like that. for me to roll for a survival check. <clears throat> and not my into eighteen. Does that count? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no. Flint, Davor, and Heinol, you all kind of like talk back and forth about what you're seeing, and it's easy enough to determine that there's only one set of footprints that has traveled back and forth along this this path. Uh, consistently and as you go deeper and deeper you find yourselves in the deep wood the deep wood bum, bum, bum. oh shit uh, so you oh, traveled man. for about two hours so it's roughly 6 p.m. right now Ooh, it's the sun late. is starting to get low 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 mm -mm. did we have two days including this day or two days after today after today. Okay. Wait, the hmm. sun's getting low, you said? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, in about two hours, it will be uh, nighttime. I see a structure up ahead. What type I'm of structure? Gonna, I'm going to investigate. Let's check it out. All righty. I'd like to go Ooh. around that. What was that? It was a stealth, stealth check. check. All right. So, oh, sure. all right. So, stop, da, 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 stop da, 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 right there. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You see, uh, yeah, so there is a camp right there. Or let me see what you can see. Yeah. So, um, in front of you is a, a camp with a cooking pot. Um, the coals are still warm. Um. There's a stump there, log, and you see the edge of a very crudely constructed log hut with a couple of water barrels and a bucket underneath of a window. And the window is, it's not a glass window, it's just like a hole cut out of a log cabin with with uh, uh, sticks inside of it. So, you know, you could see through it, but you couldn't necessarily get into it unless okay. you tried real hard. I would like to approach and uh, look inside this makeshift window. Do I need yeah, to make sure. an, anybody else? Uh, do I need to make? Right. A I'm just gonna approach from the front. <laughs> I'm just uh, approaching. Uh, let me see. Same. Stealth, stealth, stealth. <laughs> is, it, is everyone stealth? We are bold. No. You no. just want stealth. Great. Okay. So y'all are trudging up, and I'm like fucking rolling through the bushes. <laughs> 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 hey, I'm you're, like, you're, you're like having your own spy movie over there. <laughs> yeah. You guys, yeah. There's those of us who don't care, and then you yeah. guys. <laughs> I do feel like we we're, we're, we feel safer. They're like our secret agent bodyguards, and we're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. You guys just feel like you're being escorted, and I'm just I'm just dumb. <laughs> so I just I feel I feel safe near Heino. <laughs> oh, he's a big boy. Yeah, he's big and beefy. <laughs> I agree. Near people who are taller than me. 
<laughs> awesome. All right. So you see in front of you, uh, yeah, a crudely structured wood hut with a wood door on the outside. Uh, it does have a padlock that is secured. So it's like, you know, like a big master lock, skeleton key lock on a pad, iron pad, touch the door. Shall we knock? Uh, wait, I think Davor was uh, approaching the window, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, so let's have you make one more stealth check for that. How do I change my name on my uh, camera? That I'm not sure. I see Dylan. Put oh my god, dude. Jeez, dude. You're right, one so stealthy bugbear, dude. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> just big old bug bugbears, like impossible to see. Oh, you're, uh, you're, you're muted. Davy. Who? Davy's muted. We can't hear you. Oh. oh, I can hear him. Oh, I could. I, I could. Hello, hello. I hello. There you there are. There you are. Awesome. Uh, bugbears are proficient in stealth, actually. Oh, mm -hmm. I never knew. I never knew. I thought they were big old. Like they are like, they're they are but they're like they're like sasquatchy like in their and they're they're good in the forest especially you know they can mm. climb in trees and they they're they're soft-footed very nice hmm. um all right so you definitely passed your self check so if you'd like to approach <laughs> the window take a peek you can see inside uh but there are those barrels in front of the window can you, yeah can you move me over more? that direction i don't want to go too far Oh yeah, sure. All right. Whoa, he disappeared. You can, yeah. have, you can have a peeks. Uh, what would the rest of you like to do? I guess approach the door. Okay. Can make we're, a yeah, perception or out. something like that. No, whatever you can see, you can see. Cool. Um, I see a lot of wreckage, but I know they can't hear me at this point. I'm like kind of talking to myself. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna just rip the like sticks out of the door and uh the win try to squeeze my way in or the window yeah try to squeeze my way in okay uh let's make a strength check just flat strength or uh no this that would be athletics yeah mm -mm. <laughs> almost another 20. all right so uh yeah, the uh, uh, the top of the things disconnect of the sticks. You hear a crack, and then while your hands are on it and you're pulling from inside of the hut, you hear a gigantic voice that's booming out. It says, "You bandits have come to meet your death. Leave now." Oh, oops. Hey, oh, that was, sir. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't see you. I thought this was vacated. I thought it was empty. You've my taken apologies. enough from me and my people. I'm taking nothing. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. <laughs> is, do we all hear this or just? Oh, yeah. yeah it's booming. Every, everybody hears this. I'd like to knock on the door, the, knock on the front door at this time. Who is it? It is I, uh, Glendon Von Alabaster. Perhaps you've heard of me. Um, uh, we ha we happen to be lost in the woods, and we are looking for some directions. Uh, hold on. I need to roll something. Wait, how do I <laughs> roll so you don't see it? Oh, private GM roll. Sorry, GM stuff. Learning. Okay, he said. I will not be tricked! By fiends such as you, leave now with your life while you can! Uh, we'd like to. It seems like you have a bandit problem, and we um, actually are here looking into said bandit problem, and we would love to assist you with it. I, for one, will lay down my arms as a show of truth. Trust. I'm not so dropping you, my weapons. Uh, Davor, you see <clears throat> a pair of eyes and a hat and some matted hair and he's peeking out the window at you. And it looks like an older human male. And he's trying to get an eye on you. And then he disappears back into the hut. Um, this whole time I've been trying to replace the stick of the window. Like I've been trying to fix it. Like, like putting it back. Like, you know, probably doesn't work very well. There's silence. Okay. I'm just going to walk away. 
I'm turning and looking to see if anybody else is approaching, because apparently we're making a commotion. Uh, I just I, I knock make again. a um, uh, <laughs> perception check. You so you're looking east. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, perception check. Ten. Um, yeah, the, you can see a, a a doe far off, but that's about it. Nothing down I, the trail. <laughs> I ready a fire bolt at the doe if it comes closer. <laughs> That might be <laughs> <laughs> Is this um, an evil one shot? <laughs> what, do, you, you, guys, just, you guys decide that. I'll just go ahead and kill the guy if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> so he. Uh, well, this clearly doesn't look like a bandit hideout. Maybe we should just. He's still peeking out the window at you. What Actually, you it's late in the uh, evening, right? Peeking in and out, peeking in and out. Almost. It's late in in the Almost. Evening. Almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I fire both the dough. <laughs> Make it <laughs> <an> attack. <laughs> we brought <What>? dinner. <laughs> oh yeah, you fucking nail it. Oh, uh, it seems cook, uh, cook my friend venison. here <laughs> venison. brought you some venison. <laughs> You like really? smoked jerky? <laughs> smoked jerky. We have an offering of meat. You hear him approach the door. He whispers something. And then he whispers something else. And then you just see the lock go. And it falls off the padding. And he slowly creaks open the door. And then you see a matted haired male human who looks like this. I uh, like this. Uh, <laughs> like how do this. I how do I show you the artwork? Try shift Try X. That might work. Shift X? Yeah, with him selected. I mean, if you can't get it in the foundry, you could always drag and drop it into Discord. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Wait, there's a way to show. There's a thing to like show players, right? Yeah. Where is that? Fuck. I'll search it too. Did you ever do the drag upload module? You, no. You had asked about it. Dur like during a break, that might be a good thing. Yeah. Anyway, he looks like his token. <laughs> a door? <laughs> Wait, here. He's right there. He'll step out a bit so you can see him better. <laughs> okay. He's like, you're not, you're not bandits. And then his voice is the complete opposite of what you had heard before. <laughs> no, quite the opposite. We're here to hunt the bandits. You're here to stop the Black Viper. And the White Viper. Well... It looks like you're too late. Sorry to waste your time. And he starts to walk back into his hut. What do you mean too late? And he keeps walking into his hut. <laughs> the door's open? Yep. Well, uh, may we in. enjoy this meal with you? He doesn't say anything. I drag the dough in. Bye, <laughs> we're too late. It wasn't a no. What? I dragged the uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm on edge. I, I don't know what it feels like to not be on edge at this point. What month is it? What day is it? And he what starts like mean? rifling through notes and everything on his desk. It, is, <laughs> it has been six oh, months. He's, he's lost his that mind. Day. I six think months. we should kill him to put him out of his misery. Oh my six god. Months. Six months. No, no, no. Just a just a crazy old man in the woods. Nothing to fear here. <laughs> Can I insight and presume this might be the healer? Yes, you may. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, can I climb um can I go and climb on the roof and like hide out and take a look out? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh yeah, make an 
acrobat or the, uh, climbing athletics a- athletics yeah seeing him do um, that i don't want to be outdone so i go to climb up on it no <laughs> i tell you no are we hearing like reindeer on top of the roof right now <laughs> maybe <laughs> if they make it yep yep okay. <laughs> they're having a climbing match outside and davor wins <laughs> so uh you look about the hut um, and you see everything you see. There's like alembics and there's mortar and pestle, dried herbs, uh, potions, things of that sort. You can determine this definitely is the healer. You know, the, the town of Doyle misses you. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. And he's going through his notes. <laughs> I'd like to overlook his shoulder, maybe understand some of the notes. Sure. You look on the desk, and you see this. Ooh. Kazakhstan. And he's muttering these things over and over and over again. AK. I'll say them backwards. Do you know? Do you know which one? Do you know which one it is? Oh no, I just speak crazy. I'm quite fluent. It's gotta be one of these. Oh, uh, what is it? It's his true name. I have to know. His true name. He looks out the window. And he starts to see the sun setting. So he rushes outside. Oh. Can I um stop him as he's like walking by? <gasps> like stop him and just be like, Yeah. And your riddles, old man, what's going on? Come join me. I'll tell you. And he walks towards the camp. Okay. I'm scared, James. Oh! He lights the fire. <laughs> and, uh, the roof. <laughs> he sits on the log. I throw the dough in the fire. I I don't know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he during all of this, he's in the process of of cooking a meal. Um. And by the time the meal is finished, the sun begins to set. So he gathers you all around, wherever you'd like to be, shares with you the venison that you shared with him, <laughs> <laughs> um, and offers you all some teas, some nice herbal teas, things like Ooh. that. Ooh. Says, I, I can't ever go back. I can't show my face in Doyle ever again. My mentor, he... He thought it would be a good idea, but here we are, and who knows what we just unleashed upon the world. Unleashed. I was trying to help. We were trying to help. If only we knew its true name. We went there. We went to the mine. We figured it could help. My mentor, he said he had a way to stop it all. And so we called on him, or what we thought was him, and we should have known better to deal with devils. Hey, uh, that's offensive. I'm sorry. Are you a devil? No, I'm a tiefling. It's, it's like half devil. Can you speak it? Yes. And I just immediately bust out into like demonic tongue. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You know the language. You know the language. Yes. Oh, oh, oh please, please. I have to undo what we did. We went to the mine. Deep, deep in the mine. And we tried to call forth 
a demon. He said we could control it, that we could use it to take care of the bandits and drive them away from the land, but it, it turned on us and it's still somewhere. But we must send that thing back to the Nine Hells before it descends upon Doyle. Stupid humans always dealing with things they don't understand. I thought he knew. I thought he knew. I'm just there to help. And in case guilty. it went south, then all I could get was... Hang on. And he runs back into the hut. You hear him Ooh. rummaging through some things. He comes back out. And he brings the note that he showed you. And he also brings you this. And the inscriptions are in Infernal. And they run all around the outside of the ruby in continual script. So it's those same uh, eight letters. But there's no way to tell where it starts and where it stops. I I've narrowed it down to these three names. If we can get back to my dead mentor in that cave, we can figure out his true name, and then we can call its master to take it back to the Nine Hells. There is no killing these things, and all we can hope to do is send it back to where it came from. Will you help me? Is it uh, like a, a headless horse-shaped demon? A what? Oh, it's just, we heard the rumors, that's all. Uh, the tale of the White Oak. Oak. Do we no still get paid true. if we kill a demon instead of the bandits? What do you mean? I mean, we're here for the bandits. We are That's on a quest. I'm afraid there's no bandits left to speak of. Oh. Well, that makes it, did, it difficult. It did the job for us. Are the bodies still there? Yes. Strewn about and whatever else that thing may have done to them. We could Where just collect it? the bodies and show it. We us could, we could promise show. that the bandits were taken care of. Where is it? I don't know where it is, but my master is still dead in the cave where we summoned it. On his person, I know he has a scroll. And when on that scroll is its true name. If we can find it, I can attempt to cast the summoning to call its master here to take it back with it. And what Please. what does this stone do specifically? This one? As I hold it in the light. I'd like to insight check him. Yeah, sure. What are you see attempting? He, I want I want to attempt to see if he really actually knows where the 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 devil is. Okay, sure. Um and this he says um I need the stone to cast the spell. Um, he is being completely truthful with you. Everything he said is with fear and honesty behind it. How do you know it will work this time? It has to. It only didn't before because we called the wrong devil. But if you know its true name, it is bound by magic to your will. What is uh, Elite's character's name? I am Flint Ignatius. Okay. Well, worst comes to worst, we can either we can fight and kill the devil ourselves, or we could just toss Flint at it and run away. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like this idea. <laughs> It'll take some time to get there. We'd have to go through the old village or whatever's left of it, whatever the bandits haven't taken. There's one thing I need before we enter the mine. What is this? What do you need? Guidance. I don't know that spell. <laughs> it's not a spell. There's something in that town I need. It will point us in the wreck way through the mine. The last thing we want to do is get lost in there. Wait, you're saying we have to go back to town? No, to the village. 
the, the, the village that the bandits had occupied. Oh. Can we go now? Do we need to wait till the morning? I mean, I don't want to travel through these woods in dark. I can't see very well, and I wouldn't want us to give our positions away to anything that might be looking for us. Hey, please, it's not much room, but you you can stay here. I have food and space, but I don't want to go during the night. Good enough for me. Very good. Grand would like to go ahead and just uh, keep scanning and see if there's anything in the woods with his dark vision. Absolutely. Make a perception check. Nope. <laughs> um, occasional rustle of a critter, uh, the cricking of crickets and bugs. <laughs> That's about it. Okay. Shall we then? Will you come with me? Um, Grand from the roof says, I think we should do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Is he with you? Yeah, he's on backup. Yeah. yeah. yeah about Our eye in the sky. My, we'll leave my body. All right, then. Eat, 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 please, eat. And he, as hospitable as he possibly can be with a, a log hut he built by himself in six months. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I would love to uh, research his notes too about the demon yeah, and summoning. For sure. Uh, so let me see if there's anything fun. Uh, yeah, so he is willing to you know, let you see what he has. And basically, most of his books are uh, research on known devils, cross referencing names he might have possibly found, um, just trying to determine what the true name possibly could be and then just general you know healery things um mm. so he does offer you guys a few potions oh the why i buy a potion damn it <laughs> now you have two so he shows got two you, potions he shows you one uh that has clear liquid floating on top of a cloudy white uh uh fluid Gross, dude. There's another one that is uh, clear that has a red bead in the middle of it that expands and contracts. That one's creepy. What the hell is that? That one's cool. Uh, this, I've been able to uh, modify some of the mushrooms around here. And this, I like to call it a potion of growth. Uh, and he hands it to you. White cloudy one. The this is the one with the pulsing. Oh, okay. uh, so that Davy, we will give that to you because you inquired about it. Uh, bah, 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 bah. How do I give you things? Uh, control space, potion of growth. <laughs> Drag and drop. Wait, what's your character again? Sorry. Yeah, I can actually put it in his inventory. <laughs> yeah, potion of growth. Got it. Thanks. Uh, all right. And then you were inquiring. Who was inquiring about the other one? Sure. All right. So uh, <laughs> he looks at your back and he asks you about your nubs. Who? You. Oh, my nubs. The nubs <laughs> oh, on your back. Is that, is that canon? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Well, whatever pain may have come from those scars, this might have something to help. And he hands it to you. It is a potion of flying. <sighs> <laughs> Does he say what it is? Or Yeah, he explains it to you and how it works. Okay, like I'm half offended as I take it, but I like take it nonetheless. Uh, great. Wait, I do I have to drag it from the items tab? Because I have oh. them all like pulled up. You can. Uh, the other Boom. option is the there quick is. search. Yeah. Got it. Great. Um, all right. So with that, we will take a long rest. And uh, Grant, Grant, the hell I lost. Grant I pulls you. some of the Grant pulls some of the thatch apart and puts his head through, and he says, "I'll take first watch." 
and then he puts the thresh back, and then he puts the thresh back to where it was. <laughs> or the other awesome. batch. All right. Go. Your watch passes without a hitch. Ooh. I pull some of the thatch back again, and I take one of my ball bearings, and I choose... Um, <laughs> I choose... Uh, oh, I can't get to... Or, Davey, what's your what's your guys' name? Davor. And I, and I throw the ball bearing at Davor. <laughs> and I, I say, catch it. Oh, <laughs> and then I'm surprised, but I go, "It's your turn." You and interrupt. Go, you interrupt his long rest, and he does not gain the benefits. No, I continued. Like I went through my whole rest. Oh, okay. No, his long rest. Oh, we don't I, need the benefits. I didn't do anything. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> it's exhaustion. I don't need. But that. had you needed them. No, you're right. <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> and then I sleep on the roof. All right, dude. Well, Chris, well, yeah. are those stitches? No, it's, they're just the the residuals of uh, uh, the cut. Uh, it's mostly just dried blood and uh, dead skin. <laughs> those are some those are some gnarly scars there. Necromancer shit. I know. I know. Riskful thing. That's what his back. That's what his back looks like. Yeah, that's how my back looks like. Right. <laughs> Uh, Doran is his name, by the way. He introduced himself as Doran. Well, and he snores. He mm -hmm. snores. Doran is snoring. Yeah. Uh, anything else before we move to morning? Uh, just to verify, the words on that parchment, those are the three demon names that he like summed it down. Like, yeah, so you, you surmise because there's no beginning and end to the letters. That's every possible combination, and he's been slowly eliminating them through research. So those are the remaining names that he thinks they might be. But if you can get to the scroll, he it will be there. Oh, okay. For certain. Yeah. And the scroll's on his mentor's body, is what yes. he thinks. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Great. Anything else? Nerp. All right. So, let's move to morning time. Daytime. The chirping subsides from the insects. Uh, you look out on the day that's dewy, and the forest seems bright and inviting, even though you've heard all of these horrid tales of it. Uh, so, Doran leads you back along the uh, trail. And you travel for, uh, you went six, so you went another eight hours, so let's say it's 10 a.m. Uh, when you find yourselves coming to an opening, uh, the trees become much less dense, and then it turns to logs. And there's an entire area of this forest that had been cleared, leading up to a massive uh, bluff. And this is the remnants of the old village. So uh, you can see a windmill. Uh, there is a bridge going over a dried creek, um, a mill there. And beyond that, uh, some old ratted tents and then the entrance to a mine. So it's two big stone pillars with um, a log archway over the top that would lead into that area there. So, Doran ushers you guys. He says, this way. It should still be in here. And he walks you towards the mill. Is there anything you guys would like to do? Is this supposed to be a different map or? Uh, yes, but I don't want to go there quite yet. Just okay, case. I just want to make sure. Hmm. Yeah. I would like to stealth. Okay, great. Same. I would like to not. <laughs> not stealth? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ka -ching, ka -ching, ka -ching. <laughs> Rough. Oh well. Are is there any mm. movement from the tents? Um make a perception check. <laughs> nope. I will mage hand a dagger and run it through a tent. <laughs> well the tents uh, are that's like far that's like on the other side of the bridge. 
I will pretend so I'm doing quite this quite at max range. Yeah, so here, if we look <laughs> here. All right, so if you go back down to the hollow, this will kind of give you like the layout a little better. Can you guys uh, see this? Everyone can tab to the land of oh. Wayne at the top. Oh, here, I got you, I got you, I got you. Yeah. Oh, nice. So this is the mill. This is like the old remnants of the village. And then in this area is like the old tents and stuff like that. So you guys are here at the mill right now. So this is the village that the bandits were in, right? Yes. Rogue's uh, Hollow. Rogue's Hollow. I will ask, um, I already forgot his name. I'll ask the old man. Um, I have a name, you know. Doran. Old man, where is the uh, leader of the bandits body possibly be? Um, I mean, at this point, we were still looking for them. I, I, I don't know. Truly. I'll start checking the tents to see if I can see anything. Did we get any like description of what the Black Viper would look like? Other than uh, it's a girl? Just that she, it's female. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he, uh, he's, he was ushering you guys towards the mill. Um, and that's the only one I have a map for, so that's where we're going. <laughs> we f we follow him to the mill. Yeah, great idea, guys. All right, hold on. <laughs> I actually want to look like to the, the opposite uh, direction. Yeah, it's like an invisible yeah. wall. We watch. <laughs> um, but that area, I mean, you you will have you would have had to walk past the mill to get to that point. Mm. So we can do those things later. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We, we can get there. Uh, but for now. It's Doran, and we'll make sure everyone's here. Okay, so. When there's a mill, there's a way. Boom. Hey. So, he show, so we show up to this, and he goes, all right. If anyone sees a lantern, please let me know. That's what we're looking for. Do I see a lantern? Do you need a light? <laughs> Go look. <laughs> Do we see so the way, uh light? The, the way this is structured, um, so imagine like the bottom half of this mill, all of this is open air, but then above it on the second story is enclosed. So there's a room above, but then open space below that leads all the way through uh, this place. So this beam right here is on the second floor. So you can walk under this beam. Uh, just, just talking out loud, there is a token over here that we can see. Yeah, would you like to approach it? Yes. All right. I will approach so, it. Uh, first wizard. So the wood floor starts to creak under your feet. And as you approach, you see these gigantic metal gears all uh, stepping down to this saw blade here. Um, and in the gears, you see the body of a dead mill worker, his arm completely contorted and broken as it got caught into the gears. Oh, and his body is stuck inside there. I would like to burn the body. Sure. Do I need to roll attack or anything? No. <laughs> Easy enough. So there's a <laughs> dead body uh, beginning to burn. Be careful with the flames, uh, Flint. We are in a uh, an old mill. Lots of wood around. What does it matter? What Plus, matter we don't want to attract, attract attention. I can do this. And I'll just contain the fire. <laughs> <and> really, <laughs> uh, just prevent it from spreading. It fucking stinks in here. It smells so bad. Hair know. and flesh. His Why face do you start always to do that shit? His I, eyes pop. It was for solace, like a a, 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 a religious rite. Oh, you know what? Quit lying. Don't even. Yeah. I let the go of the, the fire. I let getting go of the bigger. Control. Yeah, I let go. <laughs> symbolic. Yeah. yeah, I guess I'm, I'm not going to do worry about it. And I walk away. <laughs> Brand goes up and he, like, stamps out the flames. <laughs> Your hands are covered no, in no, no. I, I melty my flesh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> your your foot is covered in melty flesh. Okay. It still stinks. Is there any um thing salvageable from the body? Uh, you can uh, look, make an investigation. Oh, well. 
the key, the very important key we needed burned along with the body. <laughs> the wooden key. <laughs> uh, you search. His body has been completely looted. Nothing of note on him. Um, um, I, I, I go ahead and I'll, I'll pull him out. Uh, make a oh. athletics Ooh. check. <laughs> He's stuck in there good. Mm -hmm. You pull and you pull and you pull. His arm is just caught right in those set of gears. I, uh, <laughs> I, t I turn to Davor and be like, can you help me with this? No. Oh, then I, then I go to exclaim. He's like, we're just going to leave this guy right here meshed in these gears? Yes. <laughs> Well, then I, I take out one of my dagger. Or like, is his whole body or is it like just an arm that's stuck inside there? Uh, just his arm. I, I, I cut the, the arm off and then I uh, like... Ooh, gross. <laughs> mm. All right, I'll say we'll spend the next uh, 10 minutes. Okay. Trying to cut the, the arm free. Um, the so bow. during the, those 10 minutes, what else would you guys like to do? I'd like to check downstairs. This thing uh, those, those stairs go up. Uh, upstairs. Yeah. Uh, so you go up to the door. It is locked. I Can will, you break it? Uh, Jimmy, the, the door open with my brute strength. <laughs> All right. Make a strength check. I'm good at those. You guys hear this crash and this splintering of wood. The door flies open. Uh, so now I have to take you to the second tier. So as you enter, you see... Oh, shit. Where are you? Oh, blackness. Nothing. <laughs> you see that? Uh, Darkness is all I see. Is there, um, I want to start looking around for a lamp, I guess. All right, sure. Make an investigation check. Oh, boy. Anybody else while he's up there rooting? Oh, I was. I said I was following him up there. Oh, okay, cool. Where are you? Good. Right here. I'll need help. <laughs> I, so I just step in. I'm like, nothing's here. And I'll walk back out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so when you look around, there's just battered tables, um, notes, ledgers all over, broken glass. Um, there are a few things to check out. Uh, you see on the far side of the room, uh, a bag. Dibs. Run over to it. All right. Sick. All right. You check out the bag. There's nothing in it. Empty. Oh, fuck. See, yeah, More I than likely, the bandit here. will come through here. But next to the bag, you do see an ornate bronze lantern. That's odd. Weren't we told to look for a lantern? Were we? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, right. It's probably not important. <laughs> <laughs> I leave. All right, you walk back down. I mean, I'm gonna just take his word for it and just pick it up anyway. I'm, I'm <laughs> a, you know. Amazing. Um, wait, did you walk back downstairs? <laughs> or I did. Yeah, you did. Okay, I'll I know, did. move you. It, while he's coming down, I'll say, did you uh, notice anything up there, Heinel? Nah, there's nothing really up there except for some stupid lantern. All right, so as you pick it up, uh, the lantern... Wait, how do I deselect that? Um, you turn to exit, and through the wall, you see this. A figure floating above the ground, almost like you can see through it, of a mill worker, his arm completely contorted and broken. And he oh, says, shoot. You will never take this mill from us. We would rather it burn to the ground. 
grabs the barrel next to him, spills it onto the ground. Oil spills all over the room, covering a 10 foot by 10 foot area in front of the door. And then he holds up a lantern, <laughs> igniting in blue flame, and then smashes it onto the ground. I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then I, like, I look at the lantern in my hand. I'm like, oh, shit. I was doing the right thing. I was being the helpy boy. I'm the one who helps. <laughs> and we're going to actually let's let's wait to do initiative and we'll take a break here and then we'll um, we'll come back with initiative. How about that? Cool. Nice. All right. Awesome. Uh, begin combat. Wow. Everybody <laughs> roll initiative. <laughs> I'd like a reroll. <laughs> no, no, this wow. roll's good. I'm right there with you. Oh my god. Damn. This commoner. We should have saved him. <laughs> I, I like how I like how you're the one that's next to the ghost and you got the one. So you'll be the like last one to go. Hell yeah. All right. Do we have an itch today? Let me pop I got a nat one. Two of you got nat ones. Yep. Oh, uh, wait, that guy's dead. Roll, roll. Hell yeah. All righty. So, <clears throat> this ghost slams down his ghostly lantern into the oil, which creates ghost fire. Oh, my God. It's. Oh, on fire. Yeah. All right. So Regular first up fire, is Grand. Ghostly. You hear a smash upstairs and a big clutter, and you're trying to cut this dude's arm off. What do you do? Oh, I haven't. It hasn't been 10 minutes yet. Uh, no. <laughs> hmm. Um, I'm going to continue furiously cutting <laughs> faster. <laughs> All right. We'll say in uh, in twelve seconds, you could cut his arm completely off. Mm -mm. He he that's was a burning corpse him. remains. I don't know if that helped at all. Oh, you know what? That's true. It'll only take six seconds. <laughs> okay. At the end of this round, you will have severed this dead person's arm from their body. <laughs> okay. Oh, I should begin combat. That would help. All right. Uh, hi, Noel. You're up. And so I hear the noise from upstairs. You certainly do. I guess I'll just turn around and go through the door. <laughs> All right. So as you approach, you see burning flame immediately in front of you. If you walk forward any further, you will be in it. Okay. And this ghostly man. apparition turns to face dragon. you. Ah, it's it's arm nice. twisted and mangled. Is it within five feet of me? It is. Well, and he looks threatening. It's a ghost. <laughs> All right. I will uh, <clears throat> swing at it with my... Uh, actually, uh, hold on. I need to check something real quick because I, I forget what I can do with my certain thingies that I have. So I got to remember what those thingies can do. I think I can do this. All right, so what I'm going to do as a bonus action is I'm going to manifest echo. What does right, that do? Right behind <laughs> the target. So if you can make like another little token for me right behind the target okay. of the ghost. Um, it's basically an echo, like a like a kind of ethereal version. That's how I imagine of myself. Or you play, have you played Guild Wars 2, right? Yes, I have. James? You're a mesmer. I'm a, I'm a mesmer. I'm oh, a mesmer. <laughs> there you All go. Right, hold on. So, uh, so let's give you another token. Echo Knight, right? This is Matt Mercer's. Yeah. Oh, this was a Matt Mercer one. Pretty sure. I think it became uh, official in Tasha's. Yeah, yeah. That's where I found it was from Tasha's, but I, it could have been a Matt Mercer original. All right. So it's you have cool. an echo there now. 
cool. Um, so I then I am then going to attack this ghost. Okay. Using my attack action, I have double attack. Um, what happened to the music? Okay. I don't have. I don't know if my rolls have all my like modifiers and stuff, but I guess I would have like plus eight to my attack rolls. They should be accurate. No, it's not adding my proficiency. You really? Have plus five strength. Yeah, he got an eighteen. <laughs> remember? Oh god. And then plus two <laughs> mod. Uh, uh yeah, let's just. That's a twenty-one. Oh yeah, that hits. Uh, and then second attack would be a fourteen. That also hits. Cool. So this thing, although then... transparent, is currently on the material plane, thus corporeal slashing into it you hit his gangly arm sweet so i also <laughs> want to attack with my echo to uh what? attack its gangly arm yes oh when you take it, the attack action on your turn any attack you make with that action can oh no it could just originate from it never mm -hmm. mind i'm not sure if that might be a bonus action. but you get you have multi-attack at fifth level don't you yeah mm -hmm. so i attack twice Okay, okay. Uh, so you can't, you could have attacked yeah. once from you, once from that. Yeah. Echo. Okay. You know, just for flavor wise, that's what I'm gonna say. The the devil attack was one for me, and one from the echo. All right. Um. So then I'm yeah. just gonna move my echo over here. Oh, that's true. That's pretty so cool. What would that be? Five and. Wait, I gave you too much damage. Huh? I did too much damage to myself. This is the first <laughs> combat I've ever run in Foundry. Sorry. All good. All good. What is that? There what we go. Think? There we go. Okay. It doesn't do as much as you <laughs> originally oh, wait. thought. Okay. So I was right about the one additional melee attack from my Echo's position. Because it is... Um, hold on. As a yeah, bonus, I can attack, do it three times. Any attack you make, unleash oh, incantation. The action can originate from your space or the echo space when you make this choice. Yeah, you would still only get two. No, attacks. unleash incarnation is what it is. So oh, you can oh, heighten your echo's fury whenever you take the attack action. You can make one additional melee attack from the echo's position. Awesome! So, yeah, All right, go for I will it. Do that. But I can only do it three times. Uh, that would be a 12. 12. That definitely hits. Wow. Okay. Bada boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's pissed at you. Cool. Now <laughs> I move my echo. <laughs> All now right. Uh, it's going to take an attack of opportunity on your echo. Okay. With its withering touch. What's the AC for your dude? I believe it's 14 plus proficiency well, bonus, so 17. That's a miss, then. It that's tries a to reach lot. out. Jeez. It's more yeah, than it's me. <laughs> yeah, that's like a better you. Awesome. All right. Is that you? It only has one health, though. So. Oh. That's the end of your turn? Mm hmm Yep. All right. Moving on, it's the ghost's turn. So it's going to... to uh, so, all right, just so I can get a visual, does the thing look exactly like you? Uh, I would say it looks like me, but like kind of ethereally. Like the, I, I imagine the Mesmer stuff, like whenever the Mesmer sends out their t like clones. Oh yeah, it's translucent it's like a, gray image. It's like of a you. translucent purple. Okay. I, I would imagine mine's translucent blue because right. I'm blue. So not like an illusion. It's just like another one of you. Okay, cool. So it's going to turn, look at you, and then it's going to try to uh, pry your jaw open and crawl inside. <laughs> oh jeez. It's going to attempt to possess you. Oh fuck. Wow, that's a DC 13 charisma, please. Oh, God, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> <Saving> <laughs> charisma. 
<laughs> Mr. Negative uh, Four. Yeah. Ah! I'll just see if I have any reactions that I can do to avoid that, but I don't. A cold <laughs> chill goes down your throat as a thing crawls inside of you, and you completely lose control Damn of it. your body. Ooh. Wow. Dang. I was only minus two. Oh, wait. I rolled that. I was describing <laughs> my roll. So <laughs> the thing crawls inside of you. And you are aware of everything that's happening around you, but you cannot move. You cannot speak. You are possessed, my friend. <laughs> In that case, you see, uh, uh, what's his name? Heinol. You see Heinol. He just kind of cracks his neck and just starts slowly walking down the stairs. <laughs> No, oh, he doesn't come for me at all. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. That is that turn, and next up is Doran. How far um, is the stairway? Like, how many feet? Uh, ten feet. Okay. So wait, my, you didn't. My all, echo did breaks and disappears after thirty feet. Okay. Mm. Um. So that was five, ten. 15, 20. What's your speed? 30. 30. So he can get to there. So as he passes by you, Glenn, he's just like, I'm not sure what that noise was up there. Heinel says that? He says that to you, yeah. You were up there. What did you see? Mm -hmm. Not much. Move some desks around. That's about it, though. Perhaps the lantern's a over here. Mm, no. Or actually, right, yeah, that's fine. Uh, great. He seems right. a little too well spoken. Next up <laughs> is oh yeah, Doran. So Doran's going to walk ahead. So did anyone find anything yet? What was that noise? And then uh, Heinel, you'll say to him, nothing, not much. We'll keep looking. This is okay. Uh, Grant, your turn. You finish cutting off this thing's arm. <laughs> you have detached the body from the appendage, and the body is now free. It slumps to the floor. Grant is in the combat tracker twice. He is? Oh, I am. There's another... I, I meant to say it. There's another Grant outside uh, creeping around out there. Is he? What? Yeah, there's he one. He rolled where... twice. He rolled twice. He rolled an 8 and then a 22. Well, there's one. Oh. No, literally, there's one outside. He's oh, there's an there. extra token. There's literally an extra token on the map. <laughs> okay, never mind. All right, Doran. we got two Echo Fighters. <laughs> uh, wait, Doran just went. Okay, Flint. Then Flint's turn. Uh, Chris, I sent you a Discord message to help with the proficiency thing. Which, uh, speaking I of, I saw the message, but I I couldn't find where it was, and I I yeah, I sent you oh, a whisper you. on Discord. So all of you have to check proficient next to your weapon so if you use an item i.e a great sword like you have to check that you're professional oh, with it. Okay, that's okay, why okay. i didn't add it uh it should be everyone's item items so just double check your items anyway flint was obviously looking for a lantern and then everyone uh does he overhear that a lantern was found uh no nobody oh. has is there they found it is there a commotion like is because you heard a fire you heard happened a you heard a noise upstairs, and then you um, you see Heinel walking down the stairs. Mention something to, to there, but yeah, is, you definitely uh, heard something upstairs. Davy's character still upstairs. Yes, I picked up the lantern, and then shit went down. Uh, so just in my general position, like what mm -hmm. is awry? Like, do I can I see up the stairs and see fire? Or it is nothing really out of the ordinary? If you looked up the stairs, you could see a flicker on the opposing wall, a, like a blue flickering. Oh, quite curious. I'll uh, make my way up. I'll do the 30 feet. And then if I can see it, okay. I would like to try and control it, if possible. Control Ooh, awesome. Uh, where's your 30? Right there? Uh, Yeah, I'll just do a ruler real quick. Uh, cool, I can get pretty much right there. Yeah, to the top of the stairs? Yeah, uh, from yeah there, like halfway up. 
I'll sh I'll show you what you can see, but then you can you're on the stairs. Okay. So, so it's right there. It's right by the doorway. Hmm. Oh well, this is uh, quite peculiar, and I'll try and like control it and make it die down. Use control yeah, flames. sure. All right, you exchange plans in one direction. Sweet. Uh, so yeah, you can get it down to five feet by ten feet, right? Mm -hmm. I'll make it curl up on the ceiling, kind of like in a a ball, like a sphere of fire, if possible. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, I'll say yeah. After you could use your action to 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 extinguish it. Okay. <laughs> then yeah. Control it. Ooh. It's gone. Bam. Managing all the stuff. How do you do this all the time? This is really hard. Drugs. <laughs> See, I'm sober right now. That's my problem. Yeah. All right. Anything else on your turn? Another job well done for the Band of Adventurers Arsonist. And that's my <laughs> turn. All right. So then, Davor. You're up. So you grabbed this what you you think to be the lantern and you just witness what you witnessed what do you do okay um so do i see do i see him at the top of the stairs flint mm -hmm. okay um uh let's see let's see him. i know he's possessed he's not himself and i'll run forward oh. towards the stairs uh it's not let me move no. Oh, because I changed it to ruler. So it said that was 35 feet on the ruler, so I can move five feet down the stairs. Am I within what kind yes, of... Am I... Five feet oh. from there. Is, is, is where I am is, is the, the farthest I can go right there? It's uh, 40, you... feet, 40, 40, feet is my, 40 feet is my movement. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then right there. Okay. And he's he's how far away from me? Uh, That would be... Let's see, fifteen feet. Okay. Hmm. Does he have the lantern? What's uh, that? Do you? Yeah. Who has the lantern? Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I would have liked to kept the lantern with me. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So. It's. I have a hand axe on my back. That's a free action to just take that out, right? Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna take that off my back and I'm going to throw it at the uh at the ghost as a bonus action. Alright. Make an attack roll. So effectively you are attacking Heinel. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. Yeah. Actually, you know what? No, because I'm doing that, I'm not gonna pull out my axe. I'm sorry. That's fair. Yeah, I, I wouldn't pull out my axe if that was the case. Um I am going to uh bonus action I'm going to use my arms of the astral self. So as I rush down the stairs, I like mm -hmm. leap up at the top of the stairs and just slam down my fists. Um, unfortunately, he's not within the range of my. Oh no! Wait. Um, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep changing what I'm going to do. I'm going <laughs> to. I'm, 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 my apologies, dudes. My apologies. All right. You're good. I'm just going to use my bonus action to key point and uh, step of the wind and just do a dash and just get right okay. next to him. Yeah. Sure. All right. He and looks then, back at you like, "Why are you running?" I've always, and uh, the, because because in his head, uh, Heinel's always been his like rival. He's like, "I've always wanted to do this," and then, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and just start pummeling him. Uh, I'm going to just, <laughs> uh, regular attack, unarmed strike. All right, go for it. Um, I guess I'm trying to find how do I would do that. An unarmed strike? Yeah. Uh, how did we do that, Elliot? Did you just make, like, a new weapon? Oh, I can add that, I think, to your features. Yeah, there it is. So it's basically an item, is the way they're categorizing oh, it. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Do you see that, Davey? Here you go. I added it to your inventory. Gotcha. <clears throat> If that works. Let's see how it. Let's see how it does it. <laughs> it did one. Well, <laughs> nice. what are you doing in that twenties today? <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I mean, I don't know. Um, it's yeah. Either way, nat twenty, cool. Um, and then 
So that's going to be because I'm level five. That's a D six, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's a D six now. So. Mm -hmm. That's going to be five plus my my dex is three, so eight points. Does it All have right. Proficiency as well. Not to no damage. Profession. Just just yeah, not in proficiency. Yeah, oh, yeah. So that'd be sixteen then. All right. Because a crit. So uh, I know thirteen. You take... Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh 13. yeah, you're right. Thirteen. Yeah, you take that thirteen and. And then I'm gonna. Uh, because I have, yeah, multi-attack, so second attack, just going to punch him again. Do I get to, like, make a check or anything during this uh, assault? Uh, no, you do not. Nice. <laughs> Alright, four damage? Yep. Yep. And that'll be my turn. All right, next, Glenn. So you just watched your front, your two allies beating the shit out of each other. Davor, what the hell is going on? He's not himself. Possessed. Are Are you sure? Yes. Just keep beating the shit out of him. <laughs> um, is it meta for me to know what kind of check he needs to make? I gotta go. I'll be right back. Be right back. Um, it is, but I'll tell you, there is no check. Oh, he is this. He is stuck. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is helpful information. Okay, um, then I'm gonna cast. Do do do. I'm gonna cast blindness on him. All right. But first, hold on, let me see. First, I'm going to use a um, bonus action to use uh, Bardic Inspiration against him. And so my subclass, what that lets me do is, um, let me see if I can pull it up to read it real quick. So my screen's messing up. Music um, keeps cutting out for me. Makes me sad. I think I, I reload to fix it. I did it twice. So this is my subclass ability for the bard. Um, I, I'm going to use my bardic inspiration against um, Hainal. What kind of bard are you? All right. Eloquence. Ooh. And then I'm going to cast um, blindness against him. Okay. All right, so that is a DC 15 Constitution, Heinel. Mm -hmm. All righty. That is one of my best saving throws. <laughs> nice. Uh, what is it, what happens on a failure? Oh, oh just, I, you missed. I have to subtract anyways. Yeah. You have to subtract. Oh yeah, what what's the uh, inspiration die? D six, I believe I am. Yeah. All right, so minus. I mean, whatever four. you subtract, like makes you succeed. So. Not if you roll. Oh. Yeah. If you roll I a one, it does it. Right. You need to beat it. Oh, yeah, so one beats oh, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a chance. <laughs> a very slim chance. Yeah. Who rolls it? Dylan uh, rolls it. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Yep, slash R space 1D6. I'm confusing myself because normally it's a buff. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, so... Yeah, you're, that, you're blind. <laughs> and then I'm going right. to run, run away. <laughs> run away. Awesome. Uh, and that's my turn. Well, he he's going to uh, use a reaction for a Opportunity attack at disadvantage because he's blinded. 
Does he still have an up? Well, I guess it would be my opportunity attack. Never your mind. your reaction, yeah. Give me what you got. Show me what. Oh you got. yeah, I have to do it. <laughs> I was like, you're possessed. <laughs> All right, what is that? 21, 17. <laughs> Ooh, he still hits. 15 slashing damage to you, Yo, my friend. I, I'm bloodied. <laughs> oh, that was my highest rolling attack, too. Jesus. <laughs> my God. Did Ghost not like I know. <laughs> All right, who's next? It's your friend. Uh, Grant. <laughs> The body hits the floor as you sever his arm. The body. It's still stuck in the machine, but his body is free. I'm going to lay him down in the most dignified position. I'm going to take right. two, two coins, and I'll put him over his eyes, and then I'm going to use my thieves' cant and do a popper's uh, grave, like just like how I would, uh, like like a brother in the streets. I would like give them their rights as they're passing away, and I would, uh, you know, bless the body in the way that a thief would. Okay. Mm. Nothing happens. <laughs> mm -mm. And then I would uh, uh, wonder what is going on around me. There's a kerfuffle. Uh, what can you see? Oh, yeah, you can see everybody. Sorry, yeah, guys. I'm screaming. I know it's possessed. I know it's possessed. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I just imagine I'm like foaming at the mouth at this point too. <laughs> uh, what uh, what else would you like? Um, was it my action to lay him down and put coins over his eyes? We'll say that was a bonus action to use object. Sure. <laughs> and uh, well, no, my... that's a free action to use an object. So yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a free action. <laughs> well it's my friend so i'm not gonna like try to fucking assassinate him so uh i'm going to wait thieves get assassination no, well i mean like i'm not gonna try and like kill you is what i mean um i guess i'll uh, like am i able to get... is this difficult terrain to get over this mill equipment obviously? if you want to go over it yes so uh five <laughs> 15 i get over to that side okay and i think that's gonna be my turn because i can't really do much else because i'm not gonna try and shoot him so. okay great all right it is Heinel's turn he is going to look at the closest target oh wait never mind wait where's hmm? i'm right here i'm so confused one second <laughs> Oh, you I'm guessing that damage that he did was to me the first turn. No, your tokens were on top of each other. So I was like, what is happening? <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. But the so damage he... on the first turn, the previous turn was attacking me, right? No, I never attacked you. No, oh. you never. Mm -mm. I he get an opportunity now. on Glyn, Glyndon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're going to uh, be attacking Davor. So we're going to get up on him. Scuba da ba and let's make a... I'm still blind, right? You are still blinded. Correct. Perfect. This is a disadvantage. So many things. Oh, you're rolling for me? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, let him roll. Boom, boom. <laughs> Did either of those hit? I didn't even see them. I saw no rolls. Really? Did you do a private roll? Oh, motherfuck. You roll. <laughs> I'm a terrible right. GM. <laughs> is it alt? You're doing a for, good job. Yeah, is it alt for disadvantage? Um, it's disadvantage. That's uh, alt. I think. Control. Control for disadvantage. Control. Shift Control. for advantage. Nice. Ooh. Weave. It's like, why couldn't dodge I do that? <laughs> Mm -hmm. against uh you can, dodge a, you can dodge a sword you take a fine chunk out of the wall of this mill uh then that will be the end of that so then doran will come up 
I should have actually searched. Said, Who's possessed? Who's yelling about possession? It's Is Heinal. anyone gonna answer me? <laughs> it's I know. I know. Possessed. I'm upstairs. Uh, <laughs> I'm hiding. I'm hiding over here. All right, so <laughs> pops up. like in the corner. It's Heinal. <laughs> <laughs> like right the position. Huh? Ghost in his body. <laughs> Ghost in uh, the shot. Okay. So he is going to hold on one second. Is it? Mutter some words to himself in a very creative and interesting way. <laughs> rada rada rada. Which which are some dust out of his pocket. What's it sound like? <laughs> Ah. There it is. Hold on. Okay, and he's tight. going to cast a spell. He's going to attempt to cast dispel evil. Magic missile. Oh, dispel. Uh, oh no, he can't. He's too puny. Never mind. He's not going to do that. He's like the only way to get him out is to kill him, and he's going to hit you with a sacred flame. Why is he too puny? <laughs> He's only a third level caster. Uh, Just a little guy. All right. Uh, 11. So that's a DC 13 dex save from you, sir. I completely forgot I have stunning strike. Oops. So you <laughs> have. Uh, so you succeed. Do you do, uh, roll up or roll down? I think it's. Target must succeed. Uh, yeah, so no damage. Oh, okay. Great work. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, I'm still possessed. <laughs> it's like, I'll be able to raise him. We must exile the, the ghost from his body. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, all right, Flint, you're up. Ooh. So looking up and around me, is there anything that might aid us? In terms of uh, understanding this possession. Oh shit, hold on. Uh, as far as understand from in here, no. Most of the things in here were like mill worker shit. So it's like uh, ledgers. There's another, there's that empty barrel of oil on the floor, empty crates. The bandits came through and swept most of this stuff. So it's just a, a ruined office. Did he notice a lantern in my hand? I. Did I? Uh. What's your passive perception? Um, you know, it's not here on the list, but my normal perception's plus one, so. Are, are you proficient? Oh, uh, yeah, perception, you, no. Yeah, you wouldn't have noticed. That's okay. Is it oh, like well, uh, 12 plus wisdom or something? 10 plus it's, it's wisdom. Literally just, it's literally just, yeah, it's 10 plus your, your it's 10 plus your um, uh, perception modifier. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so as a free action, I'll draw a scimitar, and then as a bonus Wait. action, I would like to cast a spell Magic called missile. Shadow Blade. Ooh. And, and so Ooh. I draw one scimitar, and then in my other hand, a beaming black blade of shadow <laughs> appears. And then I sprint downstairs, uh, wall riding, of course. That's pretty and, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll slash That's into awesome. Heinel. Whoops. Oh, shit. All right, so you've got... You want to go up the wall? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm trying to get around uh, Davar? Yeah, Davar. All right, let's throw an acrobatic check in there with this attack. Double A makes a long, long A sound. Uh... I'm pretty good at those. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so you... <laughs> you try to get up on the on the <laughs> on the wall there, can't find your footing, and then you just uh, three stooges into the back of uh, <laughs> of who the fuck is this? Davor. Davor. You go. Am I prone? Am I prone? Uh, no, oh, but you can't, stairs. You, you can't move past him. Okay, I'll uh, throw my shadow blade because I can do that apparently. At uh, at a uh, high. Yeah. Okay, he has uh, three quarters cover because of the uh, creature in between the two of you. Are we in so, dim light or darkness? Hard. It is nighttime, right? 
Uh, it's no. This was like mid afternoon. Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I will throw it, even with the three quarters cover. Okay. Just nice. twenty to hit. He's That's. I don't know oh. what three quarters adds, but I have a sixteen three quarters adds class. plus five. So sixteen armor class, so twenty one. Okay. Oh wait, no, 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 no! I lied. It's half. So it's only two. It's plus two. Okay. Nice. Hit. Okay. Uh, so that's gonna be not that's the modifier not the modifier so six plus eight so 14 points of psychic damage as the blade impacts into our dragon <gasps> dragon boy friend all right noise all right i meant to do that. are you taking the are you doing the damage uh yeah. chris okay I'm great 16 because i okay uh, Davor, or was that the end of your turn, Flint? Yeah. <laughs> I embarrassed right, myself. Davor. Thank you, GM. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> at this point, I like toss my cloak off, like you know, like fall ready. Like, all right, this is like getting serious. Toss my cloak off and clap my hands together, and you see these like large spectral arms kind of like start to appear like over my shoulders, kind of giving me like a forearm appearance, and. uh as I do, I go ahead and let's see. So that's one long. I use one key point last turn. Another one. This one I was down to three. Sorry. You're good. Okay, and then I'm going to. Yeah, I'm just going to multi attack. I'm just going to do. Um, so that's, oh, sorry. There's a bonus action, and when I do that, um, each creature of my choice within ten feet must succeed on a dexterity saving throw. Or take force damage equal to two rolls over my martial arts die. So I need a dex saving throw from uh, High Null. And me. High Null. Can, can you go on the oh, other side? It says, it says of my choice. When you, oh, of your choice. Okay. Of, of your choice. Nice. So as the arms as the arms come out, they boom, boom, slam into High Null. No. <laughs> uh, so let's see. 2d6. How many hit points did you have? Eight now. <laughs> and that's force damage. All right. Does, is this thing not going to come out of him? He has to go yet. unconscious. Man. All right. Well, maybe maybe this will help. Um, I'm just going to do, for my first attack of the turn uh, with my action, I'm just going to take an, an arm strike. Um, and then if I hit, I'm going to do a, a stunning strike. Should have done that first turn. All right. Let's see it. That was almost a nat 20 Ooh. again. That will hit. All right. And then I'm going to, I guess, roll damage for that first. So six points, and then I'm going to do a stunning strike. So that's another key point. I can't wait to get this. Uh, that's a con <laughs> saving throw, please. Oh, okay. So busted. So busted. <laughs> mm-hmm. Abuse it. I know. Yeah, you're going to hate it. Nice. Her. Yeah, that's a fail. He's stunned. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Uh, he rang your bell. <laughs> Do you hear that, like, really high pitch? Like, <laughs> your vision's blurs. Uh, all right. Anything else? Bef I mean, yeah, I still have another attack. I just kind of, like, wait there for a second before I strike. I'm like, is it still, like, he's still possessed? He's, like, saying they're just spinning. I hear the, I hear the finish him, you know, like, sun in the background. <laughs> um, so one of my giant spectral arms just comes down, just a huge karate chop on top of him. Um, so... <laughs> I don't think I have that. Oh, well, I do, yeah. Um, arms of the Astral Self. Standard roll. Oh, what? No. Uh, I, don't I don't believe that hits, but I think nope, that's... Goodness. Yeah. A 16 wouldn't, a 16 <laughs> wouldn't Wait either, Wait a minute. Right? Let me check something. Oh, wait, he's stunned, so I get he's, advantage. Yes, sir. Dang it. Oh, wait. That'll nice. Hit. Ooh. Nice, and I'm pretty sure it's an automatic critical, too. Well, I'm automatically stunned. dead. <laughs> I know. No, I know you're not. I know, I know, I know. I'm just like... All right, so as like, you bring that left. arm down on him, you, you hit him, and then he falls to the ground, and then where his body was is standing... 
of uh, of incorporeal blue uh, miner with his arm. Cr you saw him already. <laughs> He's there. I told you. And yeah, that's my turn. All right. So next is Glenn. You just watched your uh, co-worker knock out your other co-worker. And now there's a ghost standing there where he was. What's happening? I'd make a report. <laughs> this is going to HR. But first, I'm going to shout at the ghost that the bandits have taken this place already as I cast Vicious Mockery. All right. Is that a save? Okay. Oh, uh, Dylan, don't forget to update your cantrips for the extra damage. Because level five. Oh. Yep. So that would so be I'll just roll two D4. Another D4 to add to that for now. Yep. Uh, you know, with D4 is every little bit. Every little bit. Every little bit. Save. He's like, ha! Oh. Uh, the mill will always be Chedestas. That's fine. You got this, uh, Davor, and I'm going to cast a, or use a Bardic Inspiration on Davor. <laughs> you, you hear oh that, Davor? Sorry, I don't know if I, can, um, if I have a thing for that. Uh, uh, bardic Inspiration? Well, I can make him inspired. Does that do anything if I roll it? Oh, just Let's roll see. like a whatever your dice is, and then he can use that on his turn. Which, uh, by the go. way, maybe you got a Bardic Inspiration. A D6. Ooh. What did you it's inspire the... me with? You can use that on an attack roll. Um... No, I mean, like, what did, what did you say? Uh, <laughs> you got this. You got this. <laughs> All right. I do got this. All right, you're blessed. Lyndon's just in the corner being a hype man, like, let's go! Come on! <laughs> Awesome. All right. Anything? Or wait, movement? Anything for you? Uh, I'm gonna move right here, and then that's my turn. Okay, great. Grand, you're up. Ooh. It'll requ it'll require an action to draw my short bow. No, oh, sir. I, no, I have quick hands as well. So yeah, I'll, no. I'll pull. Out, yeah, I'll pull out my short bow, and I will. Um, Go ahead and shoot the ghost. And, and uh, oh, can I roll for stealth to try and do it as a sneak attack? Um, he. I mean, he's pretty distracted already, right? doesn't it? Let's say sure. All right. Uh, does I, it work I, the same with range as it does for physical? Because sneak attack usually, if someone is next to the target. Sure yeah, yeah, you would get sneak attack uh, damage without having to stealth. Okay. Because you have an ally nearby. Ooh, and, th and this is the first time I've done Unless a sneak attack. One of these so. Yeah, so you get sneak attack if you have advantage on the attack roll. So that could be from hiding or if you have an ally next to them. Okay. So the stealth doesn't give you the sneak attack, even though it's called sneak attack. Having advantage gives you the sneak attack. Okay, so I will use my short bow. Ooh! Ooh. Now roll all the sneak attack damage. Three d six. Three d six. Oh man. Not nice. bad. Not bad. Oh man. Yeah. So those that arrow sinks right into him. It almost like it almost looks like hitting ballistic gel. Like, mm. you can see it kind of going through him, and it does something, but he just turns to look at you and goes, <laughs> Um, wait, was that? Oh, shit, never mind. Not double <laughs> damage. Okay. And then I take that damage. Oh, my God, there's so many things. <laughs> so, uh, th six... Okay. Oh, it's getting good. This is getting juicy. Okay. Next. Uh, was that your turn? Sorry. Um. Yeah, that'll be my turn. All right. 
Uh, next up is Hainal. You are currently prone on the ground, and you're unconscious. I would need you to make I it. To, I get to role play as uh, Bruce Favane. <laughs> <laughs> Instant death. No, that's one. <laughs> one uh... <laughs> close to getting two death saves. <laughs> Uh, awesome. All right, next up, it's the ghost to ghost. So he is going to um, look at Davor. He's going to <laughs> he's going to look at you, and then his mouth is going to open backwards, and he's going to put his own uh, uh, gangled arm in his own mouth and just go. Aah! And it's a horrifying <laughs> visage. That you... Nice. <laughs> oh, it's horrifying. No. Uh, so everybody, I need you to make a, a wisdom saving throw. Or everybody that's in the thing. Where are the saving throws? Oh, You can click the uh, underneath horrifying visage as long as your token selected. You can click saving throw. DC 13 wisdom. I'm appalled. I'm, I go, yeah, oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you fail, uh, you are frightened for one minute. You can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. If target saving throw is a success, the target is immune to the blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. So if you, you have to make a saving th wisdom saving throw. Who? Brand. Right? He's in range. Oh, the guy. Brand. Caleb's. Caleb. Caleb's guy. Oh, yeah. Caleb got up and didn't hear that. Yeah. Uh, I need you to make a, a, a wisdom save, Caleb. Myself? Okay. Yes. So who lost? I did. Who's the loser? You. Oh, do I, have, do I have to make a wisdom saving throw? Uh, no, sir. You did. <laughs> I can be scared after death. Death is scary. Just me. I'm just complete chicken shit this fight. The bard is doing <laughs> all the bard things. Classic bard. <laughs> uh, all right. That was his action. And that's going to be the end of his turn. Doran. He is going to mutter some more incantations. <laughs> Guiding bolt, I guess. <laughs> going to fly from his fingertips. What the fuck is that? Can you Guiding see this? Bolt. HP up. All right, anyway, the guiding bolt, it punches straight through the ghost, almost like shattering him. And the wisps of the ghosts fly off into the air and dissipate. Combat is over. Wow. Mm. Really came in. Am I still frightened? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's this goofy music coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Doran is stabilize going... <laughs> Yeah, he's going to come over and he's going to cast um, Greater Healing, I think it is. What does he have? Oh, Cure Wounds. He'd be like, <laughs> Did <laughs> Horrifying Visage do damage or just the. Just, yeah. a, fright, <laughs> just a frightening okay. thing. Uh, so. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, so you regain nine hit points. Oh, boy. It says. That was the right thing to do. I know it's hard, but it's the only way to dispel a ghost. Are you all right? Yes, I'm Thank fine. Thank you. you. <laughs> Glenn's like, yes, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> this is what keeps happening ever since that devil appeared. Spirits are restless. Evil things appear in the wood. I can't imagine what happens if that thing finally finds its way to town. <sighs> How is everyone? I mean, we. I think we should make haste and destroy this demon. Send him back from whence he came. Oh, we still have to find the lantern 
and he and he keeps he gonna continue searching over in these crates over is, here. Is is that your lantern? And I point at Davor's lantern. You found it. You found it. He watches over, and he describes to you this thing I'm about to put into your inventory. Bing. Bada bing, bada boom. So you got that. Whose inventory did you put it in? Davor. Huh. Cool. What's this like, going on? I'm going to do a second wind real quick. Okay. Cool. Are you kidding? Oh, okay. <laughs> I saw zero and I was like, oh my God, really? <laughs> that meant 10. Okay. Yep. Great job. <laughs> 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 like nice. okay this is it this is what's gonna help us this will point the way uh can are you can you all see the thing it is a lantern of tracking mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so he's hoping if that devil is this still in like that mind, tracking this will show us right where he is more than likely he's still Guarding the body of my mental fiends. Uh, are, are we like heading out right away, or could we take a short little? I'll be honest. Catch my breath a little bit. I haven't said this many times in my life, but you look like shit, man. Yes, we. I. Th I think we could rest here if, if need be. I'm smiling like cockily to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> If it's, gonna, if it's the rest right. you need, yes, take it. Take it. I mean, if I was in control of my body, I definitely could have taken you all, but... <laughs> was, was was Heinel aware of all of this happening? Like, yes. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> he basically Great. just watched everything. All right, I will Perfect. take a short rest, and I didn't need to do this. Have... Same. But whatever. Okay. Yeah. Short rest. Grant's, uh, Grant's going to, like, speak up. He's like, is anyone going to help me uh, bury this poor soul? I've already performed the basic rites. Doran will. Someone should definitely do that. Mm -hmm. I have is a there, question. Oh, no. is there is there a spade nearby? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say there's definitely a spade here. Okay, and then uh, we'll just I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll uh, bury the poor Miller. Amazing. I have a question outside of game, if you don't mind me asking. James. I don't. Um, <laughs> if we destroyed the body, would that would would that have stopped the ghost? Like no. We... Oh, okay. No. I was wondering. Yeah. Um, Caleb, because of your good deed, you have inspiration. Oh, I feel so good. Man. Oh, it's okay when he burns the body, but when I burn the body, I am committing arson. Okay. I, bury, I buried the body. <laughs> I didn't burn the body. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> oh. This, All right, this Miller uh, obviously is not in favor of cremation. <laughs> He'd set the whole front. Uh, nobody saw it. I was the only one that saw it. Everybody else oh, ran out of the fire. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this will be a short rest for anyone that needs to do a short rest. Things. Reset. I am back to full. Take some health points. Where did that go? And you can do, I was going to say, you can do a, um, what do I have? What is that thing called that I can do? You get an extra D six. Oh, song of rest. Oh, yeah. well then I probably. I'm, would already, I'm already full, so okay. I rolled really high. There you go. Amazing. Great. All right, so that was an hour. So it's about evening right now, about four thirty ish. Um. And Doran says, um, uh, "The mine's not too far a walk, maybe." 30 minutes if we could make our way there uh, let's go i got some anger to unleash <laughs> all right so you out. guys make your way out of the mill um <clears throat> the uh sky a little more orange than it was when you entered and you walk through uh or over the bridge crossing the um, uh, uh, dried silver creek, the one that connected to this mill. 
I light the lantern. Awesome. Uh, it is a normal hooded lantern at this point. Cool. No, no green flame. Else uh, nope. Not yet. <clears throat> Ron and Grand are still like half health. I only need one arm to beat the shit out of people, so I'll carry this. I never got hit. <laughs> yeah, Glenn is is hurting. So hurting. yeah, I noticed I my health was missing like, too. They that was just an error. So you guys are back. You you never took damage. So just adjust okay. your health accordingly. Oh, oh yeah. Did. What did I do? I, I think it was just you had everybody selected and you clicked. Oh, you know what happened when I did the horrifying visage? It targeted everybody, and then when mm. I reduced HP, that is yeah, everyone. makes yeah. sense. Cool. I um, Didn't only have one up, hit sorry. die, and I don't know. It's not letting me add more. I should more what? Hit oh, die. so you, you got to do the level up your character because your character's probably at level zero. Oh yeah, I just put in everything. Oh yeah, oh, yeah you're at level one. Sorry, right, hold on. And you should have a bard under class levels, and you hit the notepad thing right next to it. And oh, that's right. oh, yeah, we, we could have done this. I found that all, all by myself with no help. I'm gonna mess stuff up if we do that now. Yeah, I clearly didn't help anybody today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put everything in. I'm just gonna roll. I'll just keep track of my hit die then, so I don't mess stuff up. No, no, no. I got you. Okay. Where's classes? All right, you're going to be a bard now. Officially, it's probably going to double up a lot of your skills. Just ign ignore them. I sent a picture in Discord of where you would go to adjust your level. So I, I did that already for Davy's character. Um, but Caleb, you should double check this. I think Chris already fixed it. But yeah, Dylan, yeah, so you, you, should, you should look in Discord. Um, oh, you're level six now. Congrats. Hold Thanks. On. What? Wait, what? Well, it's one one from his random whatever class, and then right. Oh. Right. Now you're a level five bard. Okay, perfect. Um, great job. Yeah, I think James did it for me already. Okay. Mm -hmm. then we should be good. Awesome. Um, is there anything you guys would like to do before heading to the mine? Smolder. <laughs> That's a free it's, action. It's <laughs> tense. We could we could look and see if the bandits the you know the queen bee maybe her head you know might be lying around we could look but i mean if we've got business to take care of i don't want to drag a body around with us while we're trying to take care of business <laughs> they only want the head challenge in the mines oh, okay that's true I if it's just the head we could do a head <laughs> be ahead of the game mm. <laughs> no chip off my shoulders <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you guys want to search, um, let's get investigation checks and we'll see what y'all find. Okay, okay. I mean, let us not forget, friends, we're right, over 5,000 gold pieces. <coughs> Dude, I am so good at investigating. Minus one. I'm right. super strong, but all my skill checks kind of suck ass because the rest of my my uh, rolls were pretty low for some of my um, stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, so uh, as you're looking through the village and everything, most stuff has been raided, but you do find bodies, bandit bodies. Um, it looked as if they may have been using this place, like taking it over and then using the resources for themselves, but then something else came along and murdered them all, but didn't take anything from them. Like it didn't care about those things, only wanting to spread evil and death. Wonder who that could have been. <laughs> uh, so... Is there a, st a strong, independent-looking woman bandit that looks like she might have the qualities of leaderships like face snakes. tattoos <laughs> uh you do not find that but what you do find who rolled the 20 Flint. Hey, Flint. Oh, fucking perfect uh as you were examining a bandit um they seemed to be dressed lightly in robes not much armor with a headband tied around their head and if you'd like to take it, you can. Mage hand, put you it immediately got... on my forehead. 
Well, guess what? Your intellect is 19 now because it's a headband of intellect. <laughs> nice. So let me give you I, that. I tell my friends, is this fashion? Glinden, is this fashion? It's a good luck. Thank you. That's like smart, though. <laughs> it's like you put on a pair of glasses. As, as a monk, I look at it lustfully. Why do you have four scimitars? Smart. I bought them. <laughs> I bought them. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> why do you need four scimitars? Why not have I, four scimitars? Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, what wait, what else am I going to spend my, my wizard money one on? One for each limb. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to you. Yes, I equipped it. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, you. What else did y'all roll? Not high. Uh, Glinden. <clears throat> you uh, were perusing the satchel of a large uh, bald bandit um and inside you found a jar of some like ointment ointment Ooh, did he have um hernias what's 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 going on with him possibly but he, you found like i i don't know like a restorative ointment <laughs> there it is in your in your fucking thing it has two doses Holy shit. What? Two, Two doses of that. ointment? Wow. Oink oh, oink oink question mark. Oinkment? Oinkment? Uh, and the rest of you <laughs> collectively found. Two gold. Uh, what is that? Seven, eight, nine. Mm, ten gold pieces. Woo! Nice. And then yeah. various. Armors and weapons and things like that. Like we each got ten gold or split ten gold? Total ten gold. Uh, I take everyone's gold. <laughs> Not mine. Do you stop him? <laughs> I, 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 I do. I you don't stop me? <laughs> Would you like a uh, scimitar for that gold? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, Grand uh, sees how big Island Hill is, and he's like, eh, whatever, I guess he can have it. <laughs> this has been a theme throughout our party's history. <laughs> he's the treasurer. Yeah. The self-appointed treasurer. Yeah, he's so dumb, he miscounts everything, but he's the treasurer, because yeah. he's big enough. Hey, um, I am one intellect smarter than Golrock right now. Oh my God. I hid my a smart boy. I hid your coin. I hid them. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get any. Sorry, Heino. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then walk away. <clears throat> All right, so you guys continue on through the town uh, towards the mine. Which I will take you to. Oh fuck! There's already one of you. <laughs> now I'm seeing all of the shit I should have done earlier before we all got here. One, two, three, four, five. Where are you, Flint? There you are. Who's missing? Great. Here we go. We're going. Before you lies the entrance. It's an arched uh, uh, log over two large stone pillars leading into this entrance area. There are dead bandits everywhere. Mutilated. Beheaded. Um, this what do you do? Sign. Going in the right direction. The lantern doing anything? The lantern is currently orange. Your, your mouth moved approach. like it was about to have a G in it, you <laughs> trickster. <laughs> to, uh, what's his name? Doran. Are there any other entrances to the mine? No, not that I know. Shit. Uh, uh, let's go. Ahead. 30, 60. I'm giving you a lantern. Hold on. Uh, stuff on the fly. Stuff on the fly. Really cool, though. 
Hell yeah. There it is. There's the lantern. I don't know how to give it to you, though. So well, I'll, light? Just, light I'll move it with you. Oh, yeah. I can make your token have a light source. That's way better. Um, Where are you? One moment. Talk amongst yourselves. Role play. So I know this is back for <laughs> rap. I'm I'm looking over at Dorn. So you think it's a uh, Zakaska or Akaskaskas or maybe it might be Kazazakas? Oh God! <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Dorn, Dorn, put it away. <laughs> is that bright enough? <laughs> There we go. Is that better or is it not nothing now? Oh, I see not it. Nothing. Not nothing. It's pretty... I can see the difference. Torch. Now is it moving and fun? We're fighting a ghost. Yeah. And it's flickering. It's flickering. Okay, there we are. We're back in it. I'm going ahead like like I'm just not even really stopping to communicate. I'm just moving farther. I'll just be right here though, because you said you were doing something. Yeah. All right. I'm sneaking. All back in um yeah so doran walks forward and he was like and he's looking there's an entrance <laughs> to the north to the east and to the south also this entire area can be investigated if you'd like i'd like to examine how the bodies were like oh i guess you've said already how they're kind of beheaded and never mind mm -hmm. uh, mutilated i'd like to see uh, if there's any are, where, uh, how far in, how far in's your mentor? We were near the largest cavern. I'd say at the very back, probably two hours travel. Which direction? That's where you come in. And he looks at the lantern you're holding. Well, I thought we were supposed to find your master before we find the demon or devil. Well, they're likely the same place. Likely, yes. While they're investigating the room, I'm going to go to each cavern and like hold the lantern down each direction. See sure. Uh, which I'm one shouting. are you doing? <laughs> I, just, I just go to e like north, north first, north, and then east, and then south. All right. Uh, you walk up to the north one, and nothing happens. You walk to the east one. Oh, shit. Ooh. So that's a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem correct. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's probably that one. What happens if I head south? If I go to the south one? Yeah, uh, just just check. It goes orange. It goes okay. orange. Okay, all right. I, I, I go back. I go back. A little warmer, check the warmer. Warmer. I'm not check sure. Yeah, can you go, go up north one more time. Just be, just be short. <laughs> uh, awesome. Excellent. All right, you guys enter the mine. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm like, I'm like trudging ahead. Uh, excellent. Ooh, All was, right. I was just gonna say that uh, I, I was searching. Like, I got, I got good stealth, and I was listening. Keep, keep, oh wait, keep searching, keep searching. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm moving ahead. You don't have to go with me. Yeah, no worries. Give me That's an investigation up. roll. I find that. Yeah, keep searching, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, you look on the bodies, and you find a an copper additional piece. <laughs> fifteen gold pieces. Oh, oh I'll, take, I'll take. That's a I'll good roll. And, <laughs> and a single potion of healing. Ooh, I'll take. Oh, you are loading us up for some for a pummeling. <laughs> No way! I'm, I'm very glad I didn't. I almost spent my potion of healing. <laughs> I've seen more potions of healings in this in this uh, set <laughs> in a year's worth of campaigning. I just yeah. don't want to kill you guys. That's all. Oh, dude! I have all the potions of healings in our. It's a our one shot man murder us. And, and I will continue to sneak at the back of the party. All right. Uh, okay, so you guys travel for about a uh, an hour and a half. Um, the the tunnel then continues in the direction you're moving, and there's also a little offshoot to the left. What would you like to do? I would like to shout. Okay. 
What do you shout? Lasagas! Oh. Are you using your thaumaturgy? Uh, I don't have thaumaturgy. I'm a different type of demon. Oh. We're actually we're bred from different devils. No worries. Mm. This is the first time you guys are discussing this. <laughs> uh, yes. No, you, no response or anything other than that, but it echoes off the walls for what seems like an eternity. And then Which way does the lantern seem to go lead us towards? Uh, the lantern <laughs> is, is a consistent green, so you know it's somewhere in this shaft, but it doesn't point in the direction. I say we just uh, head straight down. Hmm. Right down That's this way. It's, it's within 300 feet, though, considering from what the lantern description is, right? Yeah, how far do we go? How far do we go in before it branched? Um, An hour and a half? I don't know. How <laughs> yeah, Ooh, okay, so it's 300 really? feet. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Long enough. <laughs> we like took a step, paused, thought about where to go next, and stepped. <laughs> Sometime uh, later. Just sometime mm. later. I said we keep going straight. Forward. Let's straight keep forward. following the like path. Forward? Okay. Let's go forward. All right. You continue forward. What would you like to do next? I would like to rage. The world flipped. <laughs> We're going east to west now. Is this like uh, a different elevation? The passages are winding and confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I will just keep trucking on forward. I will lead Same. the charge. Oh, yeah. I'll be right behind him. Oh, damn. It's in the oh, it's, oh, fucking. Why does it do Don't worry. We got <laughs> it. That's, that, that, that's like more canon, God, though, man, because we're getting closer to the demon. I can't see anything with this. <laughs> no, that's in game. <laughs> <laughs> Should I make another stealth check, or is it impossible with this light? <laughs> you can do what you can try anything. That's the D and D way. Are you a green demon, or I'm right behind Heinel. Ooh, that light is bright. It's very bright. Excellent. Um, this is kind of just like an adventure, like a like a go check it out thing. But if you'd like to stop at any point, investigate something, do whatever you'd like. I'm just kind of watching. I'm sh I'm shouting each of the demon words. Uh, they echo off of the walls each time is, with no response. Zero response to any of them. Mm -mm, none. Yeah. Uh, is there any like kind of footprints or scratch marks or something to indicate something that's been through here? Uh, yes, this area here, it um, the walls look very roughed up um long scratches but then where it kind of chokes off here at this um entrance here where doran is it it stops like something was attempting to get through but didn't mm. it's weird anything seem familiar to you here doran uh to be honest i've Tried to block a lot of the images of that day out of my mind. We could just keep investigating. The lantern is telling us we're in the right direction. Well, here I go. Again on my own. I'm right behind you. Went down the only road that I can go. All right, so you see uh, bedrolls. Old, worn bedrolls. Oh. All over the place. Tables, chairs. Um. Yeah, this looks like an old barracks, like a miner's barracks. I look for black and white snakes. Okay, make an investigation roll. <laughs> Some vipers. Uh, yeah, and if anything you guys see or want to touch or do, let me know. Any uh, you, pouches you, or uh, do not find any vipers. Damn. No uh, vipers here. Any lumps in the bedrolls or uh make an investigation line. roll for me. You're checking the bedrolls? Yeah. Yeah. Investigation. Can 
Can I check this one lone bed all by itself over here? Yes, you can. Investigation. God damn it. What did I ask? Glendon. Von Alabaster. Oh. Uh, checking the bedrolls, you don't find much <laughs> at all. Why do you guys keep looking through everything? Bedrolls. Specifically me? looking for the mentor where, body. Where like, were you looking at? people. This one specific one that's like by itself away from all the other ones. In like the in bed? This, it's just this room, this bed, this area. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, with an 18, you notice the giant chest next to the bed. Tucked <laughs> 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 away right here. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> you open it up. Inside, you find... Plus three, great sword. <laughs> you find something. Jeez. Headband of strength. Headband of strength. <laughs> I'm already maxed out. I know you. <laughs> uh, check your inventory. <gasps> Ooh. A long purple hilted great sword. Clip that right away. That seems to wow. look a little interesting. But you don't know what it is yet. Don't medicate. <laughs> don't medicate. Anybody yeah, else? We don't have lots. Search for things. I keep forgetting info puts it in the chat. Sorry. I keep. I. Do I have to attune to it right away, or, or can I just like use it? Um. We we'll fast forward if you <laughs> want to. <attune. laughs> I, yeah, I'm playing by that rule for the headband too. Uh. Yeah. It's so a I'm at a chest, but I'm also looking for the mentor's body myself. Ooh, the chest is locked! Uh, but make an in investigation check. Glad uh, mine wasn't. <laughs> grand, grand, I will allow you to have the owner, and I walk away. I don't even look to see what's in the chest, because I trust Grand. Oh, can't hear you, Grand. I will use my thieves tools. <laughs> Make a uh, thieves. What is that? Sleight of hand, or is that a tool? Check? It's a tool. Yeah, it's a tool. Okay, do that then. <laughs> Ooh, kink! It doesn't open. It's pretty hard. I sure, sure hope my buddy Grand is opening that chest I left him with. <laughs> um, he'll. <laughs> He'll continue to work at it, and after everyone else's turn, he'll try again, maybe. Okay. Uh, let's go. Who hasn't done anything yet? Uh, Davey, what are you doing? I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. I uh, don't think there's any bodies in these bedrolls, so we just move on. I mean, I found something. Are you sure? And I'll I'll mage hand a dagger and just slash through a couple of uh, bedrolls. <laughs> I'll just like run through like all the the room and just like flip all the covers off the bedrolls. Uh, you flip one bedroll over and it looks like a blanket kind of like like fell off with a hood on it. A blanket with a hood? Yeah. With your mm. name on it. That's pretty weird. What uh y'all see that? What is that? Might be a body. I'm too busy looking at my purple sword. Can I hold it in my go, hands? I'm gonna, go, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go grab the hood. Yeah, sure. What you're both grabbing it? He grabbed it first. I'm okay. interested. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in your box. That's what she said. Hey. And it is. There's got to be a faster way to do this. Oh, it's in there. Check that out. There's something there for you. <laughs> nice. Um, oh, this will come in handy. Yeah, if you guys would like to attune to those, we'll say in the time that it takes, uh, Caleb can try to pick this uh, chest open again. Caleb gets nothing. <laughs> It opens up. It's inside. In the 
you find a gleaming shield. Ooh. But it rises out of the chest all on its own. Where's your fucking uh, your sheets? <laughs> I'm giving it to you. Just be patient. Oh. Uh, right. Boom, it's in there. Check it out. Can we tell if these were bandits that were sleeping here? Or were these, were these miners? Um... Interesting. <laughs> the thing about that is, I don't yeah. know if there'd be a way to tell. Huh. I already start leaving. Let's go back. I mean, to it the- it looks rummaged. It looks rummaged and worn, but not. Yeah, not, it wasn't kept well. Whoever was here last didn't take care of it. We'll say that. Hmm. I wear the clothes around the uh, cloak around my waist, like Brawly. The way he's got like that style. Hell yeah! And it'll work like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll work. <laughs> it still functions. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, great. Anything else you guys want to do here? Nah. No, I want to look for the uh, the the devil. Well, we didn't find him there. Mm-hmm. Well, we're wow. gonna look. We must retrace our steps and go down that short path. Mm-hmm. Is that what you'd like mm-hmm. to do? Yes. Fuck yeah! You guys exit this cavern with all your new goodies. You're welcome. <laughs> you continue down the cavern. Uh, the echoes of all of these infernal names still bouncing back at you. Um, And then as uh, you start to come towards an opening, uh, Flint, Hmm. wait, can I, how do I whisper you? Uh, Slash W space Elliot space. You hear, you hear that in your head. Oh, shit. Uh, the second one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys continue forward. <laughs> what you see. A giant. No oh, there's a train track there, by the way, you were following. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> treasure. This cavern. It's totally dark. It's completely dark in here. Dark. So Doran is staying close to you because he is human and otherwise would not be able to see. I'm not afraid of uh, dark. So as you move along this track, you notice that this uh, entire cliff completely just drops off into complete darkness. Uh, this crank over here, it extends out over the chasm, and then there's a rope hanging from the end of it that goes downward into the darkness. And then various crates in a minecart here. I can't see anything. Hmm. Does it seem that the uh, the green light gets more intense over the chasm? Uh, where it is here, can y'all hear me? It is it is as bright as it can possibly be. Oops, I found mm-hmm. out where we I can hear see you, David. Dark. Wait, where are you guys? Hold on, you're moving. I'm by the crane. <laughs> oh, okay, there. I found uh, I found some staircases. Oh wait, I got the lantern on the wrong guy. Yeah, you put it on me. <laughs> you handed the lantern to him. <laughs> I... Oh, you're cutting what? out, Davy. Yeah. I see only blackness. Oh. I'm presenting you. Where are you? His token oh, isn't see. here. I, I don't think, think my token isn't on the map. Oh, right you're now. not here. Sorry. One second. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. I'll take your cloak. Wait, where? <laughs> oh, boom. There you are. You are the weakest link. We take okay. your shit. 
<laughs> yeah, those magic items are ours. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, so you guys see a set of stairs descending into the darkness from here. So where would you guys like to go? I'm looking for the mentor Darkness. body. Darkness. Yeah, I mean, definitely, like, always eyes on for the mentor body. All right. Uh, so far, the in the areas you have been, you do not see anything like that. Mm. No sign of the there. demon? Uh, there, uh, the only real sign of, like, destruction is the, the train track that was destroyed. Either the slide is broken, or he has been running away from us. Um, Grant asked Dorian if uh, this any of this looked familiar to him. He said very much. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, a little too oh you see it! Everyone roll initiative! <laughs> <laughs> oh. From the end oh. of the cave, a gigantic <laughs> white creature. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and a stinger tail. It's the white viper. James, I love you. <laughs> Seize your green flame. Ah! Guys, I found the white viper. It's the white viper. <laughs> <laughs> you need to activate the combat tracker. I do. Hold on. I'm doing 15 <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah, well, 15 times. Holy faster. shit. Okay. Wait, not that one. Where is I'm it? I'm four parallel universes ahead of you. This one. Boom. Oh, combat music. Okay, sweet. All right. So then I deselect you. I select everyone. Oh, uh, where the fuck is Doran? Get over here, asshole. Mm. There he is. Mm. And Doran is like, the beast! The beast! Uh, then I go... Can I, can I hand the light off the to Doran right before combat starts? Absolutely, you can. It says, Take this old man. Hold off the beast. I must find my mentor and begin the incantation. <laughs> I love this. All right, so. Very Diablo esque. This is the combat. <laughs> oh, I have to right click. Okay, boom. Bam. Bam, I'm a ding dong. Bam. Damn. I had so much a better initiative last time. Ooh, Bone devil. <laughs> oh no. It has the wrong name. So do we see a body? Any mentors? Uh maybe. <laughs> <laughs> can I uh can I reroll uh advantage on initiative? No. <laughs> Are All right. Uh, did everyone roll? Are we ready? Are we ready? Uh, I'm ready. I think everybody did, yeah. Everybody but Doran. Uh, Doran. Um, Grand always goes twice for some reason. I mean, I, I like I, I, I didn't see the roll, but uh, the roll that I had before was better than the one I had the second time, so... They're both the same. Oh, well, then it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> oh no, I'm looking at the thieves tool check, sorry. Alright. Uh wait, I'm handing off the lantern. God, that's so annoying. <laughs> it's so bright. Uh, Why is it it defaults to a hundred? And then who doesn't have the lantern anymore? You. <laughs> who doesn't? You don't. There's so many things. Holy fuck. Zero, zero. Great. All right. So, uh, Doran is going to approach the motherfucking devil. Oh, shit. And he's going to say... Seems unwise. It's like... We yeah. will send you back to the night house from whence you came! You bastard! And then he is going hey. to cast a divine. Oh wait, no, he's going to cast <laughs> um divine weight. Divine weight. A guiding bolt. Nice. Good choice for ten radiant damage. Wait, how does that work? 
He's got to roll to attack first. That was the roll to attack. Oh. Nope. Mm-hmm. Something is broken. Doran is metagaming. What the fuck? Hold on. Flash streak. No, 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 no. Make a range spell attack against the target. Why is it not rolling an attack? You might have to turn the spell into an attack spell. You might not have done that when you imported it in. I did not. Um, you can always just roll a d20 and then base it off that. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that. Plus, he's a cleric. So that is wisdom? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So plus three, 13. Does that hit the man? It does not. Are the only wait. Do druids use intellect uh, for a spell modifier as well? Wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom. So Wizard, then, yeah, wizards, wizards are and then the only one. Yeah. Art artificers. Yeah, but we and get subclasses. Yeah. And the music begins again. He misses. It streaks off into the uh, back of the cave, and as it uh, goes off, you see down here in the southeast. A body on the ground. Bum, bum, bum. Oh Loot my it. god! Oh Loot my it. god! Uh, that's his motherfucking turn. Grand, you're up, my dude. Ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and stealth because I'm still at the top of the stairs. Fantastic! That's a great idea. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sneaky, sneaky into vision. Okay. To see if I can see the bone devil. <gasps> I do. Um, from here, am I able to see? Or am I able to, to hit him with my crossbow? You can see him from there, and you can at disadvantage, maybe? Oh, I can still range on a crossbow. I can still move further more. Uh, let me I'd see. imagine that he'd be in range with the crossbow. Where's your crossbow? Where's the bone devil? Wow, that Thank thing's you. far away. I mean, ranged weapons have pretty far ranges. Like, uh, let me feel a lot of time. Let me see my cross, my short bow. Oh, yeah. As... Or I have a short bow. Okay, so three eighty, uh, or what does it mean when it's eighty slash three twenty feet? So eighty is normal. You can attack up to three twenty, but past eighty is disadvantage. Okay. Um So yeah, you're you can attack from there. <laughs> with stealth. Alright, I'll go ahead and attack. Ooh. So the arrow flies directly in between its wings. I feel like his and mod is lower than and it a little taller. He's got Plus three proficiency and then so no mod on his attack. What's your dexterity, Caleb? The dexterity <laughs> is uh sixteen plus three. Okay, so the three is right. It's your short bow. You're gonna want to go into all of your weapons and check proficient. That way, it adds your proficiency bonus. Oh, um, so it'll be a fifteen, not a twelve. He does. I don't think he knows how to get to the details and do that. Where? Yeah. Where do you uh do such a thing? So if you uh, uh, yeah. You have so to go in your inventory. inventory. Yep. Is it equipped or proficient? It's just the proficient isn't clicked. So you mm-hmm. hit the notepad next to the weapon, and then in the details page, there should be weapon status. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Proficient. Boom. All right. Fixed it. Do I have to do that on all of your shit? I already did uh, that. Yeah, I did a PSA earlier. Most of us, I think everybody did it. Just 15 oh. hit? 15 does not hit. That is a miss. It streaks off into the back of the cave uh, out of the green light. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, that's the spirit. <laughs> uh, cool. Grand. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Um, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let that be my turn. Uh, I'm, I'm not stealth anymore since I attacked, right? Uh, yes, you make your uh, uh, position known when you attack. Very good. Well, I'll just, uh, yeah, that'll be it, because I don't have any much else to do. So the Bone Devil will turn. See Doran. See you guys. Ah! 
and then he's gonna fly up into the air whoosh, whoosh, beating the dust and rocks away from all these broken tracks Shit, I sort of think and he's going to ascend how do you do that little plus for um altitude it would be a uh, right click and then the top left there's a like a zero so if you right click the token there's a zero on the top left you okay click in that there you go you uh, um ba -ba -ba -ba. this is fly speeds give me one moment so sorry he can't fly that high so he's only gonna move 20 feet into the air Sorry, first time. And mm -hmm. then he's gonna move uh, 5, 10, 15 directly above Doran, and he's gonna make an attack with his stinger. So this giant oh, stinger no. strikes down, shaking the cave. And that is not rolled yet. There it is. Oh god damn! Oh shit! Oh. Alright, Doran, good fucking luck, my dude. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh what is that? A con uh, save? What was it? Con save. Oh fuck my life. I think I just fucked <laughs> myself. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta move him for a second. There's so many things to worry about during combat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Con save. Oh! Damn. Damn. Oh my god. Alright, so that's half, I think? Uh, blah, 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 con, uh, oh no, he still takes the damage. He's just not poisoned. Uh, yeah, so he's unconscious. Holy shit. Crap. And he goes, <laughs> and he turns to all of you guys. That's his turn. Next. Davur. Little do you know you've just entered my attack range. Okay. Um, he's, <laughs> how, how far How far in the air do you say he was? 20 feet. He's 20 feet in the air and he's stung 20 feet? Oh, no. The, he couldn't have done that. So then 10 feet. 10 feet. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to rush forward, get right under him, like directly under the bone devil, like kind of straddling the body. I'm just going to make sure I measured that right. Yep, That's got awesome. Awesome. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to do my, my clap and as I clap the hands are going to clap up above me and smack at the bone devil uh, he is a, surprised uh, dexterity saving throw from him okay let's do a dex save uh, boom saving throw Dang, that's a that's a that's a succeed because it's a fifteen. Oh yeah, I don't think you take any damage from that actually. All right, None. so all right, yeah, it's a yeah, okay. And then I am gonna do my so that was my bonus action, and then I'm gonna for my uh, action I'm gonna use two attacks with the arms, um, just like just punching up at him with the arms. Oh, that's so sick. And like for the whole time, my hands are just like clasped together in like a like one of those. Oh, you like your actual hands? Yeah, like my actual hands are just clasped together oh. like the entire time, and like the arms are just like swinging up above me. That's so tight. Oh, hold on, sorry, I actually made the item. That's right, Muda Muda Muda. That's probably a miss. Is that a is that a miss? Uh, 16 is a miss. That's a hit. Oh, that is a hit, sir. Dang. This is... <laughs> Five, four, stand. Is it automatically updating HP for me? If he's targeted, sometimes. I I targeted him. Yeah, I, I did a little target. Oh, thing. so it's autumn. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was the thing I had. Um, <laughs> so the, the, the 6 did not apply, right? Because it missed because it recognized that it has armor class was higher, but the 22, I'm guessing, applied the 5? The 22 does, yes. Cool, nice. All right, so with that with that hit, I'm going to Stunning Strike. So, like, the, the the spectral arm, the arm that comes out, like, tries to smack him. I love it. Stunning Strike. 
make it happen. So, Constitution saving throw, please. All right. Monks are busted. Yeah, monks are tight. A 10. Nice, yeah. If he's not immune to stun, I don't know if Bone Devils are immune to stun or not. Let's but find if out. If he's not, he is stunned. <laughs> <clears throat> you knocked his lights out, kid. And he f starts to fall out of the air. Yes. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. On top of you. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'll be alright. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, he, w he would fall immediately, right? I wouldn't have to wait till his turn. Yeah, if he's stunned, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Would, well, I'm pretty sure. It's, I'm pretty sure it's when they're like on their. I don't think they happens like on, as a reaction. I'm pretty sure it happens on their turn. They start falling immediately. Like on his turn, start, he'd be on top of me though. I, I don't have an mm. opportunity to move. So start falling on his turn. Right, but he he falls like okay. forty feet. I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'll look it up. Like I'll look it up really quick. Yeah, yeah, because it's like if something's flying and then they become in cap, they fall. I just don't know. All right, let's just do it on his turn. Mm -hmm. Let's waste more of his turn. Cool. You guys need it. All right. <laughs> Next is Flint. Beat him. Is, Beat his ass he, now. Flint, uh, there's fire that erupts from his footsteps as he enters into the Blade Song. And so what that means is there's just this, this tone that emanates from him. And you can see every flow of wind around him just kind of like complements his every step. And so he gains movement. He gains uh, armor class equal to my intelligence. Uh, thanks for the headband. You made me OP. And so now I'll cast haste on myself. Oh, shit. Pretty good. And so, yeah, I can currently move 80 feet per round. I have plus two from haste. I have plus four from blade song, and that's to my AC. So that means I have 23 armor class. So I'm going to move... 80 feet and go directly to the body. Oh, of All the right. Flies by. Ooh. And then with, with my hasted action, I'll be specifically looking for the scroll. You fucking nab it. Uh, you pull it out and it details uh, a spell called Infernal Calling and that the devil's true name is Kasakas. <laughs> Kazakas! Mm-hmm. But I don't know if I can do that on my turn, because I did my action, my hasted action, my bonus action, and my full movement, so I'm, I'm spent. You tell me, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty I sure tried. I have to wait. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it has a speed resist, is otherwise deprived of the ability to move. The creature falls unless he has the ability to hover or is being held aloft by his magic school, such as a fly spell. Um, I'll have him fall on his turn just so I take more of his turn away. I was just letting you know. I, I mean, I, yeah. it doesn't say anything about when it falls. Yeah. Just you know, that's just, you know. Okay. Great. Uh, all right. Next up is mm -hmm. Glam. All right. I am going to get just a touch closer just to get out of the way of anyone who might want to come down the stairs. And I'm going to use my Bardic Inspiration to cast Unsettling Words. Mm -hmm. That we go. Telling the demon, we know your true name now. And then I'm going to cast Bane. Ooh. Go th there we go. Charisma. So it needs to be a 16 charisma minus a D8. It did not need nice. to take. Ooh, he's... Okay. Well, he's he's stunned. So wait, is stun in caps? It is incapacitated. Yes. Incapacitated. incapacitated but... can't move and can speak only falteringly. So, all right. So he's still conscious. <laughs> Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, so what happens? You. So on his attack rolls and saving throws, it um, has to subtract a d4. On attack rolls and saving throws, great mm -hmm. fucking work, my dude. And oh. that is. That's it. Yep. All right. Next up, we've got Heinol. Yay. I will use this potion of flying. Ooh, that's and flying. And I will fly up to him. And then I will use my bonus action to make you make another token for me. <laughs> Manifest <laughs> Echo. 
right over top of him. Ooh, flying? Mm -hmm. That's fucking sick. Um, uh, where are you? There's you. Really cool. We're going to change your guy to Echo. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and action surge. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Wait, you said he's how far in the air? Like, he'll be five feet above the, the demon. All right, so 15 feet in the air. So you're right under the demon? Oh, okay. No, I'm 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 next to the demon because I'm also flying. So I'll be like oh, five. You did the potion? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. 30 feet, 30 feet exactly gets me like five feet off the ground and right next to the, de the demon. So I should be in attacking range. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'm going to attack with my double attack. You have advantage, my dude. Oh, that's great. Is that alt, right? That is control. Or no, that's shift. 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 Cool. I will use my great purple sword. Ooh. That's so dumb. It's done until the end of my next turn. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Does it automatically crit when they're stunned or no? No, no it's no. disadvantage. You wish. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that's that. And then I will do the unleash incarnation so that my echo can attack as well. Uh, but, 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 uh, oh, wait, no, that is a magic weapon. So, boom. All right. So here's my uh, my echo attack. Oh, I almost had that twenty. Damn. Damn, that was low rolls. That's so nuts. It's not even a bonus action. That's whack. Uh, I yeah, that do it three boom. times. Boom. For a long rest. All right. Is that your turn, my friend? Yep. Great. All right. Uh, Doran now makes a death saving throw. <gasps> Slash roll 1d20. That's a nice. Guy. My dude is nice. Old. All right, Grand. You're up. I like how the Bone Devil made the roll. Where, where is where is Doran? He's under, under oh. the Bone Devil. So he's about to get crushed. <laughs> Oh man, I'm I'm straddling door and remember I'm on top of him, so I'm yeah. trying to like like I'm gonna try to catch the bone devil when it falls on top of me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Caleb, you're up. I don't know if you're muted or not. No, I'm here. Um, because he's stunned, can I make another sneak attack on him on the bone devil? Uh, well, you have advantage anyway, so you'll get sneak attack. Yes. Okay. But you also have advantage on your roll. <laughs> Yeah, because he is stunned, all attacks against him have advantage. So yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll row my short bow. Oh, I, uh, I know that. I'll my short bow. This demon got its fucking day ruined. <laughs> Just slapped out of the fucking air. <laughs> Ugh, that hits. Mm -mm. And then I roll. Uh, what? What for? Or do I get sneak attack on that? And the, what do I roll for that? It's a d6. Doran's sacrifice will not be in vain. I mean, he's not dead. <laughs> His sacrifice won't be in vain. <laughs> not dead yet. Not Shut dead. up. Slap him. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, next is the Bone Devil. And wait, so he's. Oh wait, was there more? I'm sorry. Grand, uh, you have three d6 for your sneak attack. Three. Oh. D6. Oh, three d6. Yeah, oh, he did one d6. So oh, I'll, I'll just roll five. two d two more d6. Mm -hmm. Two more. D6. Yeah, you're level five. My bad. Let's see. Nice. Ooh yeah, baby. Damage. Oh, by the way, did my 16s hit? No, they did not. Did the 18 hit? No. So Damn. the only thing that hit was the 21. <laughs> All right. 
He's a big beefy boy. Thank God for advantage. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so Can on the reach? Bone Devil's turn, he's going wait. to... Uh, uh, wait, what's up? Did it roll advantage for me? Let's find out. three times, so... Yeah, because I had three attacks. Uh, you did not. Let's... We Why could wreck... Why do you have three attacks? You chugged a potion and double then you action attack. I, I did an action surge, double attack, yeah. and then my my echo gets an attack. Echo. Yep. Yeah. So just hold shift next time. It'll I did do that. Manage. I did do shift. That's the thing. Wait, one d twenty. Yeah, it only rolled one d twenty now. Maybe it's alt by default. Yeah, it's alt by default. Okay. I do shift on my games. That's I'll just why. do the second and third attack separately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to, yeah, roll those, we'll add the damage retroactive. Great right. sort of life stealing. Oh, shit. Boom, boom. Yeah, buddy. Uh, okay, so that damage is taken. Boom. So Oops. just a 24 hit, right? Yes. Correct. Awesome. All right. Now, on the Bone Devil's turn, he is going to. Plummet out of the sky and land on top of everyone that's underneath of him. I'm gonna try to catch him to stop that from happening. Could I? Could I try to do that? Uh, you could use a react. Are, are you? Are you specifically trying to catch him or stop him from falling on Doran? I guess divert him would be more accurate. Okay, I could say you could expend a reaction. Um, how does defense work for a fighter? What is it like? You use you you do. Hold on, what is he's it? A monk? He's a monk. I know, but I'm trying to like use this um, feature as a thing. Yeah, so D protection. When you see a creature that attacks a creature other than you within five feet, you use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. That doesn't really apply here. I, I was more just, I guess I was just trying to like get like an athletics check to just kind of like stop it from like really hurting either of us is really all I was trying to do. Um, yeah, let's say, yeah, if you roll a, uh, 15 or better, uh, it will absorb the difference in damage. And is it, is it athletics what you want, or? Yes. So, I would just like to say I'm making that with my wisdom modifier, because I have my arms out. Um, so that is a plus six to that roll. So it is a 15. I Fifteen, my... all right. Oh, that is not the right thing I had copied. I thought I had I thought I had the thing that was gonna prove my point copied. But it's it's arms of the astral self. If you read it, it's it's while I, it's I can use my wisdom in for strength checks and strength saving throws. That's pretty cool. I, I dig that. Um okay, so the uh bone devil is going to I'm crushing on top of you guys. So he's going to take falling damage. Uh, which is bludgeoning. Technically. Oof. That far. So he's going to take 10. No, that's only five. Okay. And then uh, you guys are going to take a d12. Oh, wait. I thought with the 15, I mitigated it. Um, or needed higher than 15. That's true. So. You negate 15 of that 9 damage. That was stupid of me to roll. Oh. You heal sucks. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> um, so then as he lands on top, oof. It's going to create a hell of a dog pile. <laughs> and then... Shkoom, snuffs out the oh. lantern that was underneath Doran, casting complete darkness over the entirety of Dust Wait. Space. Do I get an attack of opportunity as he falls? <laughs> no, falling doesn't do that. <laughs> Good question, though. <laughs> Uh, so then he's stunned until the end of his turn. Yeah. Right. So he he's unstunned now. Yeah. yeah. So he shakes too. Ah! Oh no! Sorry, it's the end of my turn. My apologies. 
Oh, so he's still stunned. Great. Yeah, uh, stunned until the end of your stunned until the end of your next turn. It says. That's busted. I can't wait till I can do that. Stupid too. busted. You're up, Devor. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm seeing him like down, like defense is like twitching. I'm gonna go up and do a people's elbow, just jump and <laughs> slam down with one of the spectral <laughs> arms on him. I love it. Uh, well, you're gonna have to crawl out from underneath of him first. So oh, I didn't. Okay. Uh, let's get yeah, a. I, um, I crawl out from underneath him. Acro uh, uh, acrobatics or athletics, your choice. Okay. Um, either one's a plus six now with my arms out, so I'll just do an acrobatics. And you know what? Roll with advantage because he's not really contesting you. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but it was a. 18 plus so a 24 would be oh, yeah. what it was. No problem. No problem. Uh, so, but that will cost you half your movement. Yeah, so coming totally through. fine. I just like stand right next to him, kind of brush myself off for a second with my real hands, and then get up with my people's elbow and slam him. <laughs> with my giant <laughs> arm. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to use... Uh, so I'm going to do two attacks, and I'm actually going to use another key point to do flurry of blows. So I'm going to do four unarmed strikes against him. That's so sick. With advantage. Holy fucking shit. There's a lot of this. It wouldn't let me roll the damage for some reason on those first three. You Sometimes you have to let it uh, roll the gotcha. dice before you spam it. Gotcha, gotcha. No spamming. Understood. Okay, so I'll just... All right, uh, 23, 26. Uh, those hit the 15 does not. Gotcha. Okay, so that's going to be 3d6 plus 12 is what it's going to be. Love it. Wait, so you get four unarmed strikes, but with a flurry of blows because I'm because it's two. It's um, first attack, multi attack with my uh, second, and then mm. bonus action. Use a key point to make two additional unarmed strikes. Gotcha. All right, so that's fifteen damage. Fifteen plus twelve. All right, and then that would 15 be plus twelve. So yeah, twenty-seven. Wait, fifteen plus twelve. Yeah, because it's plus my modifiers. That was just the dice oh damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. My brain is starting to hurt. I guess first first it was it was the, the, the spectral hands come together like clasp the fist and slam, slam, and then jump up people's elbow. I told All right. you he's my great weapon master. Um yeah, uh, the bones just <laughs> just crunch and crack underneath the force of your elbow. Fantastic. All right, next up, Flint. I walk around the corner seeing everybody just literally wailing on this bone devil. He's unstunned now. Dog yeah. pile. And so I'll, I'll unravel the scroll and I'll say, Kazakas. And I will use Infernal Calling. Is on the scroll. Great. Uh, nothing happens. Because <laughs> detailed in the spell, you need a ruby worth at least a thousand gold pieces well shit <laughs> so who has that ruby i wonder which is that conveniently person? in the pockets of your dear friend doran oh doran okay uh so being hasted as i am what would it cost mm -hmm. for me to loot my friend doran you want to loot your friend doran yeah how do I, what how kind do I... of monster uh, okay, so that's a, yeah, that'd be that would be an action to, to to loot your friend there. So make an investigation Ooh. check. Come, okay. I'm good at those. Ooh, yep. Deep in his pockets, you do find that <laughs> ruined ruby that he showed you at the hut, inscribed with the infernal characters describing this beast. Uh, all right. So that was your move and action. Uh, do you have a bonus action? Or you're still hasted. How does that work? Yeah, so I, I did attempt to read it, so that could have been an action. Up to you. Free, uh, free action. Okay, so I attempted to read it, and I'm like, oh, I need this, I need the components. So I'm like, oh yeah, Doran's got that, <laughs> that nice ruby. I go over, I fondle him, I get the ruby. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a recast. 
using my second action. All right, so you look at the spell scroll. You cast this... Kazakas! And the ruby floats up into the air, cracks, 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 cracks into dust, swirls around, and then flies off to the east against this wall here. And a portal opens up in the wall. Fucking... Oh my god, it's so bright. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, I can see. <laughs> and then out steps this thing. <laughs> Skadoo. And then the he looks around the room and he goes, Who calls me? It was I, Flint Ignatius. Kill that thing. And then he uh, is going to roll initiative and enter the tracker. <laughs> uh, where the fuck is initiative on this thing? Hold on. <laughs> where, where is it? Help. How do I add him to the tracker? Oh, right, right click his token and then the, the arms. There you oh, go. I see, I see, I see. Okay. You can double click him. Skadow. He goes after me. Would you look at that? Holy fuck. <laughs> and the <laughs> horned devil. He is going to look at that, look at you, and he says, He will be taken. And then he whips his massive chain and it wraps around um, uh, the bone devil and he starts to pull him and he's nice. inching him closer. And closer to the portal, he says, <laughs> You are needed back. And he's dragging him and dragging him. Uh, then that's his turn. Glenn, what do you want to do? <laughs> um, well, I feel like we have this situation under control for the most part. Um, so I'm going to cast Healing Word on Davor, um, saying, oh, He's Davor. got a rude awakening. All right. <laughs> I'm full health. You mean uh, on uh, Dor. you Doran? Mean Doran. I'm full health. Oh, sorry, Doran. That's what I meant. Oh, okay, great. All these D names blew it here, then, man. Yeah. All right, give him a give him a cast. Here we go. Six points of healing. <laughs> And he is still under, f under. Oh no, he's fine now. I will. He opens uh, his eyes, and there's a fucking <laughs> this happening. Yeah, I'm st I'm straddling him. My nuts are in his face because I'm wearing only a loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he wakes up to. And then I'm going to um, cast vicious mockery on the the bone. Demon for the heck of it. The bone so go back to go back to hell. <laughs> <laughs> he's just oh, he's just flailing, like taking chunks out of the ground, trying to claw his way back. Yeah, and then he's just a single tear like comes out. <laughs> I just just add insult to injury. Got him. Uh, <laughs> great. All right, uh, that is your turn. That's my turn. Are you sleeping on purpose? What is that? I don't know how I did that. Okay. Wait. I'm just sideways. Uh, there you go. Okay, you're better now. I'm up. Hey. You're a good <laughs> boy. All right, uh, Heinel. You're up. All right. Okay, cool. So uh, I guess with this demon running away, I'm not done yet. So um, I'm going to fly over to him. In front of it. Oh. Ooh. And because I didn't get to do this before, I forgot to that I had it. I'm gonna use great weapon master with my attacks. Okay. My uh my echo next to him too. Um, All right. So it's minus five to my attack roll, but I get plus ten to my damage. I'm gonna do that with both of my attacks. <laughs> okay. Is he restrained? Is my question. Uh, oh, fuck yeah. So, okay, advantage. That's advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. 
Alt this time. Alt, 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 alt. I was thinking about stunning him again, but I didn't want to waste my key points, but now I'm realizing I should have just fucking do it. Well, he's not dead yet. He's not going to give up. So that would be a 12. Probably. To not. hit? Yeah. Mm. Uh, with advantage? Yeah, with advantage. Oh, it, it rolled it. Okay, yeah, that's a miss. And then this one would be 18. Dang. Uh, 18 is a miss. Unfortunately. Damn. Well, I'll still use my... um. My last track thing of uh, unleash incarnation mm -hmm. to let that attack, and that one will attack normally. Ooh! Oh, <sighs> uh, that's a hit. It it just slices off the the very tip of his wing. It rise. Then I'll uh. Move my echo because I can move it up to 30 feet. I'm gonna move it over here, I guess. And then right. he's gonna take a swipe back. Action. Oh, okay, yeah. Go as ahead. it moves away. It misses. Oh, yeah, misses for sure. Well, my bonus action is I'm gonna swap spots with my uh, echo. Uh, you are such a mesmer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Anything else? Uh, that'll be all. All right. So Doran, uh, he's just going to look at everything that's happening around him. He's it, this is this is everything he's been wanting. So he uh, is going to approach. He is going to take out a sickle that he would use in the wood there, and he's going to cast Divine Eminence as a bonus action. Oh. So it's going to do an additional 3d6 radiant damage on a hit. He's going to hit with his sickle. So it bursts into a, a blinding uh, light, and this thing is just rah, rah, just writhing and thrashing, and he can't get a he can't get a hit on it. Um, that will be his turn. Next is Grand. Ooh, well, Grand will consistently do what he's doing. He's gonna hit with an, his short bow again. Oh, 14 one doesn't hit. Uh, you have advantage, and I have advantage. <laughs> 20 hits, right? Oh, 20 does hit. And I do um I do I do have sneak attack. You sure do. And what's that I roll again? <laughs> this is my first uh, time doing this. 3d6. Ooh. Noise. Oh man, he is busted up. Uh, what was that there? So that's 20. Oh, man. Yeah, insult to injury. He's just like, ah, 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 ping, ping. His wings are clipped. He's taking arrows into the shoulders. He's having a bad day. Um, All right, anything else for you? Uh, No, that'll be it. Okay, next is the Bone Devil. All right, so he's going to attempt to ah, rip the chains off of him. Uh, This will be... Strength. He gets uh minus one d four because of Bane. Still, I'm pretty sure. That's fantastic. Uh, this will be an ability check. Uh, I think I'm doing this right. Uh, all right, sixteen, and then versus. Oh, good luck. Minus one d four too. Oh. The oh yeah, he fails. He fails. So ah, ah, it's just trying to get away, trying to fly off the ground. Oh, and this chain is just tied tight around him. So that's the end of his turn. Davor. Uh, okay, so just, hmm. I mean, honestly, just staying from where I am, I'm going to rush forward, do the same thing that happened, just pummel away. Um, but this one I'm just going to do the, I'm not going to use any key points. I'm just going to do my regular two attacks and then my bonus action, uh, on arm strikes. So, all right. 
Bora, bora, bora! Bora, 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 and I'm trying to push him back the whole time too. Awesome. So you Ooh, crack, baby. you crack, you crack, crack, crack. Your last hit throws his head backwards and then it actually does like a 180 and is hanging upside down before its whole body collapses onto the cave floor. It Ooh. is dead. <laughs> Oh my god. Love me some DPS. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Doran, heavy breathing, lays on the ground, says, what have you done? The horned devil <laughs> recalls his chain, and he says, my minion is spent. Now, who will replace him? As oh. he looks to all of you. Oh, definitely him. I, gra I grabbed Doran, yeah, definitely him. <laughs> no, 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 and he, he's trying to, like, back away. You're the one that caused all of this, buddy. I will replace him. What? Doran says to you. I've always wanted a uh, demon daddy. <laughs> he looks at you, the horned devil. This thing is massive. <laughs> Spreads its wings out creating a silhouette of itself from the portal light behind it. He looks at you and he says, I like your horns. <laughs> and then he takes his chain whoosh, and he spins it around you. Whoosh, and then he whips you inside of the portal. <laughs> into nine hells. And he looks at the rest of you and then walks inside. <laughs> Jesus. I'll re-roll a new character. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> the portal closes. Wait, wait. The portal closes. <laughs> and it's dark again. Oh, still well, the uh, those fighters. With Flint now that... gone into the depth <laughs> of hell. I kind oh, of just stare around everybody like, oh, that didn't go exactly like I thought it would. We did what oh, needed to be done. To do if we ever do you, shut push. up. We, we, lo we lost one of our adventuring party because you. Remember why didn't you me? sacrifice yourself? But we will not let his legend die. He will be immortal, both in <laughs> hell, unfortunately, and in song. Thank you. Who would have known what that thing could have done to the town? You have saved us this day. Oh, by the way, uh, I was rummaging around the forest and I found this bandit head. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, it's, it's worth all it. the end. I don't know if it's worth much to you. <laughs> no, it's but not it's worth all anything at all. I'll take it. Good, good revive. Good revive. Uh, oh, by the way, it's pitch black in here. Mm -hmm. Grand can see. We can all Grand and Grand pounds against the uh, the portal. What happened to that where the portal light? used to be? And Wait, what is you? We can marry. Oh, I said Grandel or uh, Grand runs to the where the portal used to be and just starts like bashing against it like Flynn! the wall <laughs> is cold and bare he was my tiefling brother even though he was obviously of a different kind I guess apparently but still <laughs> like a distant cousin <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already walking out uh, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm with him we'll follow uh, so Can you all make your way ahead. back after several long rests right off of the trail, back to the town of Doyle, you present the head, you collect the reward, and over the next six months, the town retakes the mine in the village and is able to collect the resources and get back on its feet again. You fucking save the day. <laughs> Woo! Does Doran, does Doran pay for his crimes? Uh, Doran, he uh, retreats. He's He's so guilty, even though... He knows the town is saved. He still can't show his face. No one really knew what happened. They thought the bandits were still there. So effectively, they cast this spell to summon this demon, 
went to shit. So he went into exile knowing it would be looking for him. Right, right. Um, he feels his time here was, you know, was what it was. So right now he's off to sunset. find find a new place. Yeah. Well, on the bright side, we have another adventure we can go on if we ever need another one shot while he takes a break. <laughs> the rescue. Go, go rescue Flint in the nine hells. <laughs> sure. Oh, he man. doesn't want to be rescued. He's like, what are you guys uh, doing no, here? He, he totally went with them. Like, it wouldn't matter if he, really if he rescued. <laughs> We'd just be like, well, here's the good part. <laughs> now you only have to split five G's four ways. <laughs> hey, <laughs> there we go. I take one share. Yeah, I'm gonna want yeah. that back. Worth the G here in the back. <laughs> you owe me. Yeah, oh, don't forget man. Flint. <laughs> oh, yeah, great job, guys. Dude, that was awesome. Good job. Thank you, cool. Pam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was, really that was, that was a really fucking great. Blast. Thank, Thank you for helping him set it up, yeah. Elliot. Oh, yeah, man. This was no, we, all spent, James. we spent uh, like two hours yesterday troubleshooting. Oh, I know. Shit. I know, like the maps and stuff, but like as far as like Foundry is concerned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. Badass, if, if, I, and this goes for anyone. Like, if anybody wants to use Foundry to run D and D, I can. I will be there for you. I will hold your hand. I know. I held James. I know. I know. It. So Dex check is what your is what the or no Dex check is your name for it's actually Forge's website. I didn't know they had it on through the website. Oh, I I paid for the mm. serve the server access because this was I not know. gonna work yes. on my computer otherwise. I'll see. I'll see if I can you figure that out. Maybe, but I think I still have a subscription to Roll Twenty that I'm paying for. But I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was pretty easy. Well, it's it's a fourteen day free trial. Right, I'm gonna get off. Good night, y'all. Yep. See you, Davy. Bye, Davy. Thanks, James. Yeah. Of course, Fun, man. Good shit.